Shake hands, kiss babies. All right, how about now? Yeah, just keep going. I hear you. You good. We still good? You still good. Keep going. What's up, man? Don't be down there. You know that. You know that. I'm trying. That's what I do. Don't do that. Don't. Huh. Keep going. About all, I see Chris. Can you hear me? Right. Yeah, I hear you. I see Chris Lennon right there. Keep going. Smith. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Smith. I'm right here. What's up, man? I'm right here. Can you hear me? Hey, Coral. Coral, you going to give me an interview? In the first one. Smith, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I see you. Just keep talking. I'm going to wave my hand. Yeah. Yes, sir. What's up, Matthew? Here, is this as far as I'm gonna go? Yeah, I'm still. Yeah, because you had, you saw it cutting out just a little bit right there. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Greenville County High School, the home of the Eagles tonight. The Eagles play host to the Chargers of Weldon High School. Our official of the deal, referee in charge, how's that? Umpire and play, head linesman, Andy Todd, line judge, George Gregory, back judge, Dwayne Walker, and our official timekeeper, Leonard DeLoach. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're preparing for our national anthem. We ask that you please stand. And gentlemen, remove your hats for the presentation of colors by the Greensville County High School KROTC Eagle Battalion Color Guard and the playing of the National Anthem by the mighty G.
take it off. Right? You saw it? Cool Game of the Week is sponsored by White Motors 8 of Roanoke Rapids. Big Sports Network. Big Sports Network High School Game of the Week is sponsored by White Motors 8 of Roanoke Rapids. GW Hoxton Company. The Center for Energy Education, Lynch's Office Supplies, Givens Insurance, Nissan of Roanoke Rapids, Halifax Works Healthcare Express, the Copy Center of Roanoke Rapids, Wren Sports Graphics, Screen Printing and Embroidery. It's time for the High School Game of the Week on BigSportsNC.com. Big Sports Network High School Game of Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, surrounding area 252 and everywhere else. You're locked in the Big Sports Digital Network. Better yet, www.bigsportsnc.com. You're locked in to the high school football game of the week, where the Weldon Chargers travel all across the line to Virginia, the big town of Emporia, to face off against the Greensville County Eagles in the Battle of the Border. And yes, on the call again tonight is me, Coach D. Everybody knows me. And with me always, I got my good my good man, Coach Andre Stewart, on the call. will be with me shortly. But first off, I want to thank I want to thank all you people that tune in to Big Sports and continue to support. I want to shout out a couple of our sponsors here today. I want to shout out the Runner Grabbers Collision Center, Holding Temporary Inc., Triple A Storage Sheds, B&J Cash and Carry, Littleton Hardware Store, Grandpa's Kitchen in Littleton, Robinson Funeral Home in Littleton, Few Trails Pharmacy in Jackson, Littleton in Rick Square, Rodney Majette of R&P Enterprise of Rick Square, and Barbara Key of K&K &K Home Health in Garrisburg, North Carolina. And once again, I want to thank everybody for coming out here on listening to this great broadcast tonight. We got a great we got a great matchup here tonight. The Weldon Chargers come in after playing playing a suspended game last week, and the Greensville County is playing their first game of the year. So we're looking for a great matchup as the teams, as the captains come to the center of the field to have the had a coin toss and everything. And we're locked in and we're ready to go, people. I'm up here perched high, perched high in the heavens where the sun is beaming down on me, people. The sun is beaming down, but guess what? Nevertheless, it's another night of football. So I want to get into my synergy, my center of energy, education, education keys to the ball game. And first off, if I can start off with the Weldon Chargers. With the Weldon Chargers, can they rebound from a lackluster performance against Camden County? Even though that game will be replayed in Sept on September the 20th, can they rebound behind a massive off offensive line led by Andre Stewart Jr. and Captain Joe, Captain Joe on the line? And also, too, they go to Greensville County. Greensville County has been very successful against the Weldon Chargers in the past couple of years. So can they can they come in with that high flying offense and win the ball game? Can they come in and win the ball game? And that's just a couple of couple of keys to the game that I have. But if I can give a couple of players, a couple of players to watch right here for for the Weldon Chargers. I want to pull out one name. I want to pull out a freshman, Navario Austin, able to get that touchdown score against Camden last week. So can he can he lead the charge as a freshman with a, a with behind a dynamic offensive line? And also defensively, we know the Chargers like to get out there of it too as well. So we're looking for a big matchup right here. We're looking for a lot of action here in the beautiful town of Emporia. The sun is shining, shining bright right up here. I was alone up here. Now I got, now I got some company. I got the Greensville County folk up here. Got the Greensville County folk up here as they're, they're geared up, ready to go. So right now we're going to take a break and we'll be back. Big Sports NC. 
But nevertheless, that's what we're gonna stay. We're gonna we're gonna stay right. We're gonna stay right here. We're gonna stay right here. Like, a, and like I said, we're gonna we're gonna just keep keep this show moving. We don't take breaks around here. I'm Heather with GW Hooks and Company, and I'm here to remind you about the upcoming open enrollment starting November 1st through December 15th. For anyone under the age of 65 that's interested in purchasing health insurance or making a change to your current plan. Remember, open enrollment is only for six weeks, so give us a call. Come visit the Center for Energy Education, where children and adults can learn about clean energy in a fun environment. The center has indoor, outdoor classrooms and offers a wide variety of activities, ranging from gardening 101 to line dance. Come visit the center. Where and we're back to the action here, live here at Greensville County High School, BigSportsNC.com. And as we set to kick this off, all kickoffs are sponsored by Givens Insurance and Runner Rapids, your nationwide insurance agent. So I want to check in. We got our sideline reporter, Coach Andre Stewart. Can you hear me, Coach? Well, he he will be with us. So guess what? We're gonna we're gonna start off. So we're gonna start off with a little Friday night football right here on Big Sports NC. So as we set to kick it off. Greensville County in the green and gold, and the Chargers in their white and navy blue. The Eagles set to kick it off. To the level, short oh yeah, kick, oh yeah, oh yeah. gonna roll short. It ball falls on it, and it, and I believe Greensville County falls on the football. Greensville County recovers covers the onside kick. So, Greensville County recovered. Chargers start off on. Chargers have the ball. Chargers start off on defense right here. And coming on the field is the quarterback, Mr. Demar J. Brickles, the junior, three-year starter for the Chargers here tonight. Got the guy set ready to go. Just like I said, I want to thank everybody for coming, listening in on Big Sports NC. Thank all the sponsors. Thank everyone everyone for tuning in as we get set to bring you another night of high school football and we got a we got a stop in the play right now as they try to get the ball secured the Chargers want to have their own ball and i'm joined up here i got the fellow from greensville county up here sharing, sharing the top of the thing with me as the sun beams on me beams on me. feel like it's 100 degrees out here all right but nevertheless let's get started finally So Brickle up on the center wishbone formation. Oh, yeah, we got some movement. We got some movement up front. That's like it's going to be on the charges right there. So first play of the game, we got a penalty. Penalty on the, penalty on the charges. They're going to walk it back. They're going to walk it back. So it's going to be first, first and 15 right here for the charges. Brings them kind of looking to put on, get that first win of the season. They'll open the night here. So Brickles up on the center, wishbone formation. Brickles takes the snap. Brickles hands it off to number four, Jalen Taylor, and he plows ahead for a short game. For a short game right there. And that tackle was made by a host of Greensville County. I saw number 30, Kimon Harding in on the tackle. So second down for the Chargers. Second down on the Chargers. Clock rolling, 11 minutes, 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Here at Greensville County High School, in the big town of Emporia, Virginia. So Brickle back up on the center, wishbone formation. Brickle takes a snap, hands it off, and Austin is met. Met by a slew of Greensville County, and right now, that's you're seeing Greensville County getting a lot of penetration up front, kind of blowing up that offensive line of the Chargers. So it's gonna be third down for the Chargers. As Brooklyn runs back in from the legendary Coach Brady Williams, giving him the giving the play call. Chargers have it. Chargers. Up on the center, wishbone formation, Brooklyn surveys the field, takes the snap, 
Toss it to the right side to Jalen Taylor. Jalen Taylor, look for some running room. Jalen Taylor is met and brought down for a loss. So it's going to be fourth down for the Chargers. Outstanding defensive stand for the Greensville County Eagles. So fourth down for the Chargers. Chargers looking. I believe the Chargers are going to go for it. No, actually, they're going to they're gonna punt this off. So in the back to receive the punt, number four, you got Kendall Blue set to receive the punt for the Greensville County Eagles. And you got Andre Stewart Jr. set to kick it off. Line drive punt, and it's caught on the line. And Kendall Blue has some running room. He's going down. He's to the, to the 30, makes a move. He's still going. He is brought down right there. Great outstanding return by number four. Touchdown save and tackle right there by number five, Navario Austin. So Greensville County, Greensville County sets up an outstanding, outstanding field position to start off their season right here. So for the, quarter, the quarterback for the Eagles will be number 10, Mr. Eric Robinson for the Eagles. Robinson has it. Robinson up on the center. Robinson takes that pitch to the right side. The number five, number five has some blockers. He has some running room. He's almost in there, and he walks in the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown to John Harris. Touchdown, Greensville County Eagle. One play, touchdown for the Eagles. Quick strike offense right there by Greensville County. And one of the things that, that I heard all week about Greensville County, the speed of that team, and you saw it right there with the great run by Harris. So Greensville County looking to put on, looking to go for two right here. Nine minutes, 44 seconds left in the third, first quarter, first quarter. I'm already ahead of myself. Robinson up on the center. Robinson takes it. Fumble on the play, and the Chargers recover. So right there, two-point conversion, no good. The score right now, Greensville County, six, Weldon Chargers, zero. And we'll take a break, and we'll be back. Big sports. Hi, I'm Heather with GW Hooks & Company, and I'm here to remind you about the upcoming open enrollment starting November 1st through December 15th. For anyone under the age of 65 that's interested in purchasing health insurance or making a change to your current plan. Remember, open enrollment is only for six weeks, so give us a call. Come visit the Center for Energy Education, where children and adults can learn about clean energy in a fun environment. The center has indoor, outdoor classrooms and offers a wide variety of activities, ranging from gardening 101 to line dance. Come visit the center where we teach clean energy, clean earth, and healthy living. See what fun things we have to offer at the Center for Energy Education. And we're back to the action. Greenville County up 6 to nothing over the weather charges. Onside kick, short kick right there. And it's going to roll, roll right there, but not enough right there so the Chargers will take the Chargers will take over right here and with me on the call Mr. Mr. Aaron Strickland has joined me how you doing today sir uh, I've been better without that ladder <laughs> and as I was telling the folks we're perched high in the sky right now perched high in the sky right now so the Chargers start off with excellent field position see if they can capitalize off of that great run by Mr. John Harris for the Greensville County Eagles here at the, as I call it, the Battle of the Border, the Weather Chargers versus the Greensville County Eagles. So the Chargers set up wishbone formation. Brickle up on the center. Brickle's advantage. Brickle takes the snap, hands it off to the left side, and Austin is met for no gain right there by the Chargers. So second down, second down and 10 is going to be for the Chargers. Here. And like I say, I want to thank, want to thank all the people that tune in to BigSportsNC.com. Whether you promote it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, just as long as you continue to support Big Sports Digital Network. So back to the action. Second down for the Chargers as the band is rocking behind us. So Brickle up on the center. Brickle takes the snap, hands it off to the right side to Jalen Taylor. Jalen Taylor is met for. 
about a yard gain. So short, another short gain right here for the Chargers. So third down, third down for the Chargers. As you see right there, they brought a split out. Jeffrey Whitaker split out to receiver right there. Trying to see if the Chargers maybe can open up the pass game. But I, kudos to the Greensville, Greensville County defense. They've loaded the box up. They put all 11 guys in the box. And they're going to see if they can stop the runner. They've been successful the, for the better part of this quarter. And it looks like a lot smaller def defensive line than we've seen the last the last couple of weeks. Brickle up on the center. Brickle tosses to the right side to Jalen Taylor. Jalen Taylor looking for some running room, and he is met and flag on the play. There's a flag on the play. Looks like it's going to be a holding. Yep. Holding on the Chargers. Want to see if they just let? They're going to let it. Right, he's he's going to take them. Tell them to go back ten yards. He's yeah. going to accept the penalty. Exactly. So we're going to replay third down right here for the Chargers as they're being pushed back. And that, for right now, you know, some of the action for the people that's just, just tuning in, people just watching, Chargers able, not able to get anything on the first drive. Got a great kick return by Kendall Blue and one play toss from Eric Robinson to Kajan, Dijon Harris for a touchdown score. And that makes the score six to nothing here. Eight minutes, 11 seconds left in the first quarter. Looks like a, he's gonna bring up the third so on. Back to it, third on a long, so Brickle back up on the center. They're in a 5-4 defense. So it looks like they expect the Chargers to run the ball. Brickle takes the snap. Brickle's looking for some yards. Like Brickle throws it deep ah. and unable to hit Austin right there as he peeled out to the outside. Kind of, if he would have led him a little bit more, he probably would have hit him in stride right there. The fourth down for the Chargers, and they're going to punt this thing off right here. Andre Stewart Jr. set to punt it. You got number four, Mr. Kendall Blue, that had the great punt return earlier part. He's the set back to set back to receive this punt. One yeah, thing for the Chargers to open up the, the run game, they're gonna have to go to the air a little bit more uh, to get them out of that 5-4 that defense to spread it out a little bit. Because they basically loaded up the box and daring them to throw the football. Yep. So Chargers set to punt it. And we got a flag on the play. Flag on the play as the, as the referee's looking at the number, trying to figure out what number is what. Fault starts on the offense. Exactly. So that's going to push it back even more. Push it back even more right here for the Chargers. On another beautiful night here. We have Virginia people. We all in Virginia. Everybody used to us being in North Carolina. We're in Virginia today. It looks like we're eye level with the sun. Yes, we are. I told you, we're touching the, we're touching the sky right now like Kanye West. Definitely a lot higher than I want to be. The punt is no good. Andre Stewart's looking to run. He bounces outside, but he is brought down right there. Bad snap right there. Andre Stewart ain't trying to see if he can get the first down yard. Unable to do it. So turnover a down for the Chargers as Greenville County sets back up with once again excellent field position. It also looked like probably the best run of the night for the Chargers. Yes, that was actually the best run for the night for the Chargers right there. Maybe we Made need by your lineman. Put him in the backfield and let's see what he can do. <laughs> get some refrigerator Perry action going on. Yes, sir. So, back at it. Got Eric Robinson, at quarterback, up on the center. Our formation. Robinson has it. Hands it off to the left side. The blue, blue has some running room. Blue still going. He's got a load of blockers. He's still running. It's a flag He's on the play. And he is right at the goal line, but we got a flag on the play. I think this one's coming back. Yeah. And it, you know that flag in the backfield right there, nine times out of ten, that's the holder. Yep. Hold the play. But another a, another great run by the by the Eagles right there. They're they're imposing their wheel up front against the Chargers. So let's see what the flag we'll see what the flag is. Pat, blocking the back. Blocking the back right there. So that's gonna bring that back. It's gonna take, take away that run right there. But once again, like I said, the, the Chargers are the Chargers are being manhandled right now up front against a uh, smaller Greensville County team. Yeah, it looked like Joseph Peterson got in the backfield, but just overran his guy. Uh, he was he was there and just let him squeeze on by. But also too, as you see, when Blue was getting out the run, you got to be able to put a hand on the body and That's bring, right. bring him slow down. him down some. Exactly. So that takes away that run. So it's going to be going to be going to be second down, first down, first down for the Eagles. 
So Robinson up on the center. Robinson has it. Takes a snap. Tosses to the right side of Blue. He's got a lot of green. He's got a lot of running room. He's still going. And he is brought down. Brought down on the play. But that's a first down run right there. First down run right there. And that tackle was made. That tackle was made by number two for the Chargers. So first down run right there. You see, you're seeing, you're seeing they have a lot of green. All you see is green grass when the green kind of the ball right now. Great blocking up front by the Eagles. A lot of real estate. And honestly, I don't I, the the char the Chargers in a four three and it's, it's not working. It's kind of not working right now because you got you basically got now they're switching it. Now they're gonna switch it. So Robinson has it. And then it's setting. Uh, it's still in a four three. It looks like the stacking Hand, line a little bit. Hands it off to the fullback. Fullback is brought down, but gets about seven yards right there on the carry. You got a you got a seven man front blitzing, and you still get seven yards. And yeah, because that's but as you see, you, you got your, you got your two linebackers coming up every time, and they getting blown, they getting met every time. So that's why you see the fullback get seven yards right there. But that run right there was number thirty two, Quentin Yates, fullback for the Greensville County. So, yeah, I think the Chargers need to. Shut down the A and B gap a little better than what they're doing right now. So Robinson up on the center, hands it off to Oh, fumble on the play. On the play. I think the Chargers might have got on I that. Think the Chargers fall on the football. That could be Charger football. It is. Yeah, the Chargers fall on the football. So a great turn of events for the Chargers. Number Eight. Jeffrey Whitaker picks it up. My man Jeffrey, Jeffrey Whitaker, all conference baseball player for me. Great job, great job, man. As you see, as you see right there, they need that's a, maybe that's a spark that they need to get a drive going to see if they can put some points on the board. So six minutes, forty-seven seconds left in the first quarter. Greensville County up six to nothing over the Weldon Chargers. Definitely keeps Weldon's heads in the game a little bit, not not going down thirteen or fourteen to nothing. So back to the action. Brickle up on the center. Weldon in a crazy. Weldon goes to the wing right there. And they're gonna, they're gonna tell Mr. Austin he has to check out of the ball game. Like an equipment issue. It's an equipment issue right there. Now they had 12 on the field. The ref was actually look. I think they said 11. 11. Yeah, it was. A, no, it was 11. It was equipment issue. So checking into the ball game, Samaya Scott, number 22, checks in the ball game for. The Chargers here, 6 minutes, 46 seconds left in the first quarter. So back to the action. As the line walks up, checking the splits right now. Looks like they're running double tight end. So Brickle up on the center. Oh, it's all. And we got some movement right there. It's like encroachment right there. And that's going to that's gonna be on Greensville County right there, number 75. 75 or 76? So 70. Desmond 76, Lewis. 76. So movement right there. It's going to give the Chargers some positive yardage. First and five. First and five right here. And Weldon coming back in the double tight end set with the wing. Double wing, double tight end. Brooklyn up on the center. No man in motion. Brooklyn runs the jet to the right side. Jalen Taylor looking for some running room. Looks like, and he's, close to a first and like he's right at the first down marker. So this will be the first first down for the game if they're able to capitalize on it. I think they may be a little bit short. Yep. Let's see. It look like they're right at the stick. I think they're gonna measure. They might measure that one. They might be an inch. Yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, they're gonna have to measure, measure that. One. Yeah, they're gonna measure it right there. But why? Why they measuring it right here? I wanna thank. I wanna thank some of our sponsors. I wanna thank White Motors. White Motors Inc. with my Chevrolet rewards. You can earn and redeem points to pay for services that you can keep moving forward for less at our Chevy certified service dealership. And also GW Hux Company, open enrollment, health insurance starts November 1st through December 15th. Learn more at GWHuxInsurance.com. Just a shout out to some of our sponsors and everybody that supports BigSportsNC.com. So they're going to give them the first down. So first down charges. Their first first down of the game as the clock is starting to roll. 6.28 left in the first quarter. Charges down 6 to nothing over the Eagles. Well, you know, Coach D, that first down is like a, the la the first out in a, in a baseball game. You know, it, once you get it, you know, it's, you build off of that. Exactly. And there you go, a short run right there by number 22, Samanye Scott. 
that checked into the ball game for number five, Navario Austin. But like you were saying, that, that's that's something a little something they need, something positive, something positive right. after two or uh, three and outs for the Chargers. When you in, in, in situations like that, you got to look for positive. You got to say, hey, you know, we we, we move the football, we got a first down. Next, we want to get two first downs, then we want to score. Exactly. So, Brickle back up on the center. Two wide outs, both sides. Chargers have it. Handed off to the right side of Jalen Taylor. He's looking, grinding ahead. Get some, some more positive yards. It's going to make a, it's gonna make it a third and short right here for the Chargers. Well, the thing I like about this is he's probably the littlest guy out there, and he's still getting yards after contact. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's not that little. He's not that little. I know him a little bit. He's not that little, but he's a, he's a bull. He's a bull, and he runs the ball hard. So third and short for the Chargers here, looking to get another first down here to keep this drive going. So Brickle up under center. He still got nine guys in the box. You got to make them pay for that. Brickle has it, hands it off to the right side of Jalen Taylor. Another first down. And Jalen Taylor still going, and he has a first down, and first down charge. And as you see right now, they're running that power, they're running, they're running that power right to their sideline every single time. They're finding something on the left side of the left side of the Eagles defense. We got a hobbled Greenville County's Kimon Harding coming over the field. What's up, guys? What's up, Coach Stewart? Coach Stewart has joined, joined the broadcast. Are you out there, sir? Yeah, well, he's coming. He's coming. See, I'm trying to talk him up, people. People, you're going to hear that voice. You're going to hear. I'm out here, sir. So, Sabaye Scott runs the ball up and gets a short game for the Chargers here. So, second down, second down for the Chargers. Four minutes, 25 seconds left in the first quarter. Yeah, the big. About a three-yard gain right there. Uh, still positive yards is positive yards. Uh, early the first two possessions where everything was a loss. I just can't see them um, get out there. I still, I still feel like they need to get them out of that 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 power man front. So Brickle back up in the center, hands it on the left side. Samaje Scott, he's looking for someone, and he is stopped in a great tackle right there by number 22. That's going to be Rozelle Kendrick. Well, he was he was stopped by there, Coach D, but he was one block away from a lot of green. A lot of green, a lot of green right there. So third down, third down, it looks at about six for the Chargers. Here, you got three minutes, 35 seconds left in the first quarter here at Brazil County High School. So back to the action, Brooklyn up on the center. Brooklyn takes a snap, Brooklyn rolls out looking to pass. He's looking for some running room. He's looking for somebody to get deep. Ah. And it's picked off right there by number 14. That's Jaden White. Jaden White has some running room. He's still running. He's looking to He's going to reverse field right here. He has still running. He's still going. And he is brought down right there. Interception by the Greensboro County Eagles. And that was just a, a bad a bad play. I mean, he, his receiver falls down. He had it. He had a guy open. Receiver falls down. And there's the Greenville guy in the backfield to, to make that catch. And I think what it was, he was looking for Jalen Taylor, the, 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 that rollout with the, uh, the fullback to the uh, inside. And they were able to see him, but then Jalen Taylor spread it out. He probably should have ran that out and not throw that into coverage like that. That's right. So now it's first and ten Greenville where Weldon leaves off. Quarterback. So we're looking, we're gonna go to Coach Stewart. Coach Stewart, can you hear us? He's he's still he's still coming. So back to the action. Robinson up on the center. I can hear you down here, sir. And there he is. So Robinson up on the center. Greenville coming out in that tall sweep. And Greenville is brought down. Great job right there by number thirty-two. That was. Keon Ransom on the tackle. So, Coach Stewart, let, let, let us know what, you, what you've seen so far. Well, I'm on a little bit delay down here on the sideline, guys, so that's why I'm talking to behind you. The Chargers need to get out of their own end. Need a big defensive stand right here to get the momentum going on their sideline. So handoff, handoff right from Robinson to Blue, and he is met, brought down right here. Another great stop right there, and that's Denias Bradley 
full the charge. It's been a three-yard loss right there. That's that's kind of how Weldon needs to attack the ball, you know, get in the backfield and shut that run down. Exactly. So two negative plays for the Eagles. So third down, third down for the Eagles. You got two minutes, three seconds left in the first quarter. Eagles up six to nothing over the Chargers here. So Robinson back up on the center. Robinson has a snap. Chargers in a 4-3 defense. Robinson rolling out, looking to pass in the flag. He has his receiver, number seven. There's a flag hey, on the play. 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 got something on the play over here. We got a minute 45 left to go here in the first quarter. Greenville up six to nothing. We got a false start on Greenville. Take him back five yards. We have first and about 15, 16. So penalty on the Eagles. Guys, I, I will say this down here on the sideline. One of the things that I can see that Coach Williams has done is he's changed his linebackers. He's gotten faster at linebacker. 32 was playing corner last week, so he's, he switched out his linebackers to give him a little more speed uh, in the front. Well, Coach Stewart, uh, would, you, would, would you play a 4-3 with four with two safeties? Wouldn't you think it your safety would drop off and try to pick up that tight end and not give him that extra yardage? So Robinson rolls out. Robinson had looking for some running room. Robinson is met, and he is brought down. So he's going to be short of that first down. Short of that first down. So a great defensive stand right there for the Chargers. It looks like the Chargers, it looks like Green was going to punt the ball away. So this will be their first punt of the ball game. And set the receiver is number two for the Chargers. Raven County. Checking their personnel, making sure they got enough guys on the field. I still want to count ten. I, still, I only count ten, Coach D. Yeah, we got a timeout right here for Greenville County. And we'll take a timeout right here. We'll be back. Before. New car awaits at Nissan of Roanoke Rapids. Get where you're going with ease and stay connected the whole way. Lease an intelligent 2019 Nissan Altima at only $291 a month with zero down. Nissan of Roanoke Rapids, where we put the customer first. You don't have time to get sick and you don't plan on getting hurt. Despite your best efforts, germs are shared and accidents happen, and usually at the worst possible time. But Halifax Works Healthcare Express is here to help. We're open six days a week, Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Saturday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Let us help you get back in the game, back to your family, and back to life. Feel better faster at Halifax Works Healthcare Express. Odom is going to give me an interview. And we're, and we're back, back. To, we're back to the action. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. We're going to kind of set Punt the ball off to the Weldon Chargers. Weldon Chargers looking for a big play right here, Aaron. Yeah, they, they definitely don't want to get pinned inside the the uh, the 20 here. So D, pretty punt. good punt. Great punt right there by Ross. He has some running room right he's there. He's got some running room. And he's still going. And get some positive yards out of there. Great up to about a 25 right here. So great punt by Robinson right there. Got all the good punt. Great punt on Luke. Exactly. Great punt on Luke. So 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Greensville County looking to see if they can make another defensive stand, maybe get a turnover right here. They put themselves in great position to score another touchdown. So, so back to the action right here. And Coach Grady, he's looking to see what the stop of the play, talking to the officials. So we had a flag on the play. Probably gonna be that's on the like. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna so they're gonna replay fourth down. They're gonna replay fourth down. They're gonna they're gonna kick they're gonna kick this off. Kick this off again right here. So a legal procedure by Greensville County. So let's see if he, let's see if he can get another punt the way he punted yeah, the last time. Exactly. That was a that was a great punt right there. And right now you gotta you gotta make sure you guys make sure you guys have enough on the field so you don't burn another time out right here. That's right, especially this early in the game, still a whole another quarter to go with 40 seconds still to go in the first quarter. Exactly. And, and they've already had to burn two timeouts. Exactly. So back to it. As Robinson is set to punt this ball off. 
Robinson has it. Another great, another great high plant right there. He catches on the run. And oh, he's oh, oh, oh. I think the Chargers the fell on the it. The Chargers fell on it right there. It's a dog fight at the bottom, but it, to me, it looked like a Charger was on him. And right there, and right there, he was he was looking to run the ball before he could even catch it right there. So great job, great job by the Chargers to cover up and recover that because that could have been very bad. Yeah, Kevin Ransom did his job and fell on the ball. He, he didn't try to pick it up and run. He just exactly. fell on. Don't be the hero. That's Don't right. be the hero tonight. But, and look where we're at, Coach. We're right where the first punt was, the exactly. exact same yardage. Exactly. So we just played another play for the same results. Exactly right there. Except for it almost cost you because your guy fumbles the football. That's exactly right. And coming into and as we, when we end this quarter, we're going to go to an interview by Coach Corey Odom from the Weldon Chargers. As we got Andre Stewart on the sideline doing this thing, doing this thing. So Chargers back at it. Charters looking to see if they can get some positive yardage for this quarter in Brooklyn up on the center. Wing formation. Hand Inside off the hand middle. off. And he is met right there by a sea of green jerseys right there. You see number 11 in on it. Number 11 in on the tackle. 41 on the tackle. And Greenwood's doing a lot of Greenwood's doing a lot of game tackling. So as this quarter is getting ready to run out. It's going to be the end of the first quarter. Greensville County will be up six to nothing over the Weldon Chargers. And this is the high school football game of the week. Greensville County versus the Weldon Chargers. And right now we're going to go to Coach Andre Stewart for the interview with Coach Corey Odom. Coach Odom, tell me what the Chargers need to do right now to uh, turn the fade and get out of their end of the field. He'd be more consistent on offense. You, you hear me hollering, telling the linemen get good splits. So we so tight on each other, it's making the defense get tight. Once we get our splits, we're able to run through lanes and holes, and it'll open it up. But right now, I just think we we ain't playing with it consistently. We're a little nervous, but I think after we made that last stop um, on this on their end of the field, I think we'll be all right. We'll, be all right. well, it started out quick, six nothing for them, and you guys were able to hold on the rest of the way. Do you think this your young team is settling down right now? Yes, sir. I think they're selling down. We got We can't keep using the excuses. They're young. They don't play enough games. We don't play enough scrimmage games. We should be ready to go. So now it's all about it's a mental phase now. It, it, they got to stop thinking and just play. Thank you, Coach Odom. Fellas, back to you up top. And we're back, BigSportsNC.com. Got Coach D right here. You got Mr. Aaron Strickland right here with me. Get right here with me. So what are your take on the first quarter, Aaron? Uh, this, I take that it could have been a lot worse than what it is. Um, well, didn't really protect the ball much. They haven't, uh, outside this last drive, they hadn't moved the ball. Uh, but I see them getting comfortable in the game, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're starting to get a little comfortable. And like Coach just said, you know, they're, they're, they're getting themselves together a little bit, giving them, giving them some gaps to run in. All right, so start of the second quarter. Chargers with the football, second down. So Brooklyn up on the center, wing formation. Brooklyn throws the screen to Jeffrey Whitaker. He is met for no game. Actually loses yardage right there. Yeah, I think he lost about three yards right there, Coach. So right there, they're looking to open up the passing game a little bit, try to quick screen to Jeffrey Whitaker. But that was read well by a great Greenwood County defense. Yeah, Greenwood seems to be a little bit quicker than Weldon is right now. Yeah, and that's one of the things I highlighted for this game, the speed of Greenwood County. And we've seen that for the past couple of years. They played the speed that's kind of overtaking Weldon the past couple of years. And you're seeing it right now once again. So third down, third down and long for the Chargers here. So Brickle back up on the center. There's one thing you can't teach, Coach, and that's heart and speed. That's exactly right. So Brickle up on the center. Brickle takes a snap. Brickle hands it off to the oh, right side. He's got some running room, Coach. Samaya Scott. Samaya Scott looking for some running room. He is met and brought down right there. And on that tackle right there was number 41. This is Lindias Thornhill on and the tackle. He was assisted by Jalen Joyner. And another Greenville gang tackle. Exactly. You're seeing, you're seeing a lot of you're seeing a lot of green hats to the ball. Every time somebody yeah, gets hit, there's a right. lot of green hats. And that's showing that's showing the good coaching that you're getting right there. So fourth down for the Chargers. And the Chargers are gonna elect to punt right there. So back to receive this punt is gonna be number 13, Jaden White, for the Greensville County Eagles. As Andre Stewart Jr. is set to punt this ball off. He's sitting at about the 45 waiting for the punt. High punt. Short punt. Oh, it's a fumble. fumble. I think the Chargers got on that. Recovered. 
The Chargers like they recovered that football. I we're, gonna, we're gonna see what they what they rule. It, is, it depends on what it, I think. The, I, I think the, I they're gonna the, give it to Greenville County. The, I think the Chargers had it and he wrestled it away from him. Yeah, and it looked like it looked like he landed like the uh, number three. That was a uh, Kanye Davis. Looked like he landed on that football right there. Mm-hmm. They're yeah, gonna I, give it to Greenville County. Yeah. Out on, on it's three. a good thing we don't have replay in college yeah. and in high school football. Yeah, we maybe we need to start replaying. Let's start replaying. What do you think, Brian? Yeah, I mean, it'd be, we yeah. do everything else. We might as well do some replays. So right now the ball sits right here at midfield, the 50 yard line. Greenville County takes over. That could be a gift wrap right there for Greenville County. So got Mr. Eric Robinson up on the center. Looking to capitalize 10 minutes, 22 seconds left in the half. Dead midfield. Robinson has it. Uh oh. He, got he some, keeps it. And he's going to get sacked. And brought down. Great, t- great tackle right there. That was number eight, Lamonte Hughes, in and, on the tackle, and, and Andre Stewart Jr. in on the tackle right there. And they they read they read that play right there very well. So second second down for Greensville County. Well, I think that's what the Chargers have to do too is not to not to let Greenville get on the run and yeah. um, get that open field. Exactly, as you notice, as you notice, once they go in open space, once they get in open space, they're kind of hard to get down. So. Second down and long for Greenville County. High formation. It's hand off hand off right there. And he has some running room. Oh, Number great, four. great open field tackle by uh, Lerante Lerante Hughes. Hughes. Once again, and on, and on that run right there, that was Jaquez Connor, the fullback. As you see, they had no nose right there. He just handed it up to the fullback. Able to get positive yards, almost back to the original line of scrimmage right there. Yeah, and, and Weldon, again, another missed tackle by Weldon. He could have had him for no gain or – you know, and, and that's, that's some of the things. That's some of the things you got to work at in practice right now. So, third down and long for the Eagles. Hand off inside, and Nothing. he has met. Nothing right there. And on that tackle right there, Jordan Travis. Yeah, that was Mr. Jordan Travis in on the tackle. Loses his He's gonna have to come off the field. He's going to have to come off the field right there. So, a great defensive stand right there for the Chargers. And as Coach Odom said, that's starting to settle in now. That's starting, starting to settle in now. And Coach Stewart, Coach Stewart, what are you seeing so far from the Chargers defense? So, we're back We're, we're back to the action. So, Greens are kind of set the, the Chargers punt. defense is playing a little bit better down here, Coach. We look, here's the punt. It's off. How let that go? Do not touch that ball. And that ball rolls and takes the Greensville County bounce, and it's going to pin the Chargers back. Back in. Pin the Chargers back right now. Coach D, as a, as a football fan, he has to run away from that football right there. He can't risk it hitting a hole, exactly. passing back to him or anything like that. He's exactly. way too close to that football. Exactly. If you don't have any intentions of catching it or running with it, get out of the way. And we had a flag, we had a flag on the play right there. You might have to do a repunt right here. Yeah, it look like they're going to punt it again. So, and, and guys, the, the Chargers are starting to settle in a little bit. Levante Hughes is starting to play better. They're, they're, it's a calm on the sideline. Uh, they're kind of settling in, playing a little bit better. So as the Chargers set in right there, their defense starting to set in. And you're starting to see some kind of miscues from Greenville County right here. But this is the first game of the season for those guys. So they're kind of getting warmed up too, uh, Aaron. Yeah, well, we only played a quarter, correct? A quarter and a half, basically. So they're still trying to work out the kinks right now. So as the the refs are st- still trying to trying to get trying yeah. to get the line of scrimmage right. Yeah, they yeah they're kind of going back and forth everywhere right here. You got seven minutes thirty two seconds left in the first half. Greensville County up six to nothing over the Weldon Chargers. As you got the quarterback Eric Robinson set to punt the ball off. Eric Robinson with the kick. Oh, oh there's a, there's he, a shank right there. And he gets it and falls on it. So the Chargers, the Chargers get great, great field position right there. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was a shank or if somebody got a hand on him because he he is only about eight yards deep on the punt. He doesn't stand back like a normal punter. Uh, so I guess it gives you m- multiple chances to, to fake or – and guys, this is the opportunity that the Chargers offense needs. They're finally over midfield. They're going to be moving in toward the scoreboard in 725 to go down here. 
this is what they need to get going to get back into this game. All right, so Char Charger set Charger set up. Which bump formation? Hands it off to Samanye Scott, and he is met and brought down by the Greensville County Eagles. And that was number 32, Quentin Yates, in on the top. Yeah, it was, uh, the Chargers just need to capitalize right here, get the ball inside, maybe spread it a little bit, um, try to spread out this Eagles defense. So second down for the Chargers here, seven minutes left in the first half. Chargers looking to capitalize off a of bad punt by the Eagles. Yeah, dude, they're, they're definitely loading the box right here. So Brickle up on the center. Brickle takes a snap, hands it off left side to Samaya Scott. He's met, gets about a three-yard gain right there. Yeah, they're about three yards short of a first down, but I still feel like they need to, to spread this offense out a little bit to, to spread that defensive line. And you know, and you know, like we've seen, like we saw, like we saw Monday night. With you, you got to be able to pass the football at some point. That's you right. Know, you can't because once they guys load the box up, putting nine, ten, eleven guys in the box, you got to be able to pass the football. So it's the only way you're going to open up that run game. So third down, third down for the Chargers. Looking to see if they can put some points on the board. Brooklyn up on the center. Wishbone formation. Six minutes, six seconds to go in the second half. Six nothing. And we got some movement up front. Let's that's see. The, Let's see which way that goes. That's, I believe that's going to be on Greenville County right there. That's on Greenville County. Put a flag on Greenville County. That's going to be a first down, coach. Yeah, that's going to be a first down. As you see, the the mistake, a couple of mistakes starting to add up, and, and it's, if the Chargers can capitalize on it, it'll be a big momentum swing as they go into halftime. They still, they still got that box. Pretty jammed up in there. That's a lot, a lot of meat. If you get outside, you got a lot, a lot of running room. All right, there. 603 to go here in the second quarter here at Greenville County High School. Six nothing Eagles. Brooklyn up on the center. Brooklyn hands it off to the right side. To Jalen Taylor, he is met and brought down, and we got another. Four. back so that's third down for the Chargers Brickle up on the center hands it off to the right side Jalen Taylor 
Jalen Taylor looking for some runner in the room. And That's he's big, brought it down. That's a big run right there, Coach. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, right? So, four minutes. 44 yard line. 22 seconds left of first half. Huh? Like like Chargers are letting it go for it. No, they're gonna they're gonna punt it off. So Andre Stewart set the punt off. He got number third. Jaden White. Stewart with the punt. Oh, he it hit somebody. Shanks. Who did it hit though? Yeah, I believe it hit the charge. Yeah, it hit the charge. Yeah, it came. Yeah, I believe they hit one of the linemen. I'm going to charge it. So they're going to discuss. Okay, guys, down here. Uh, there was a terrible pump by Stewart, just to be honest right there. Um, the Chargers have moved it from out of deep in there in. And now they're even able to play mm -hmm. on the other mm -hmm. side. So they need to hold this thing down until halftime and get into the second half and see if they can make a charge. Can't give up a cheap touchdown right here. Exactly. So three minutes, 55 seconds left in the first half. Greensville County already up, six to nothing. And if I'm well, I'd be happy going in the well at halftime down just six to nothing. Exactly. So Robinson up center. Well, in a 4-2 defense, 5-2. Toss it to the right side. And he's looking for some running room. Run, and he's going down right there. That, that's a great job by number seven, Jaquan Stanley and Kavon Rancis. So as that clock, second down, a long for Greensville County. 3.30 to go here in the second quarter. Like you said, Ann, if they're able to get out of this half, up six, you consider that a victory. Absolutely. And I and that's what I go into halftime telling my team. As sloppy as we played, we're only down one touchdown. So handoff to number four. That's blue for a short game. In the blue. <laughs> it's going to break up about third and nine. So third and nine, about third and nine, two minutes, 52 seconds left in the first half. Greensville County looking to see if they can put some points on the board for halftime. This is a big down right here for Weldon. Greensville County, Robinson up on the center. Robinson has, Robinson rolls out looking to pass in the flat and oh. he drops the pass. Trying to hit Lazon Peoples right there in the flat. And he drops the pass. That would have been a first down. And he had some he had daylight right there. So big, big, big down right there for the Chargers. And it stops the clock. Two minutes, 32 seconds left. Guys, don't go anywhere at halftime. Um, coach Doc from Greensville County, the head coach, has agreed to talk to us a little bit at the half. Chargers are, are playing uh, a good finish to this half if they can hold Greensville out of the end zone. So we'll see what Coach Doc has got to say. Robinson with the punt, and it's blocked. The block, punt is blocked right there. It looks great field position for Weldon. Exactly. And in on the block right there, that was Stewart, Jalen Taylor, Jeffrey Whitaker, all those guys are in on the block. So, like you said, you see the momentum starting to shift a little bit. When Weldon's also coming out kind of like Greenwood, you see a lot of a lot of blue helmets on the ball every time now. Exactly. You can see the adjustment made from the first quarter to the second quarter. And like you said, they only played a quarter and a half the other night. So did you, you're starting to see them kind of work the kinks out right now. So yeah, It's definitely been a tale of two quarters. Uh, Greenville started off pretty hot, and Weldon's kind of stepped in and started playing a little bit better offense and defense. So two minutes, 30 seconds left in the first half. Greensville County up six to nothing. The Chargers look to see if they can strike fast before the end of the half. Here at Greensville County High School, home of the Greensville County Eagles. So Chargers back at it. Brooklyn up on the center. We got a flag on the play. We got a flag on the play. So it's going to be against the Chargers. going to push it back right there. 
So a little confusion right there for the Chargers trying to get. Not get exactly it. what you want to do when you're in such a good position. Exactly. You don't want to. You don't. You don't want to go backwards right here. But nevertheless, still first down. First down to 15 for the Chargers. Looking like they're about at the 34 yard line. So Brooko up on the center. Brooko has it. Hands it off to the line. Samaya Scott, and he's plowing that head, and he is still going. And he's down right there by like he, a swarm of green helmets for the Greensville County Eagles. Look like he picked up most of the five yards back. Yeah, it like he got about four right there. So the clock is running almost at almost at two minutes left in the half here. The battle of the border. Well, the Chargers versus the Greensville County Eagles on Big Sports. So make sure, tell a friend, tell everybody to go to www.bigsportsnc.com to check out the action here tonight. So a minute, 50 left in the first half. Chargers looking to strike second down. Brooklyn up on the center, wishbone formation. Brooklyn takes a snap. Brooklyn's looking to run. Brooklyn's looking to the outside. Brooklyn's looking. And he is met and brought down. Big hit right there by number 77. That was Jacoby Jones, a big hit for Greensville County. Yeah, it looks like it's going to break a third and a long 10. Greenville's played really good defense inside their, their own territory uh, tonight. Exactly. And you're, and you're, see, you're seeing the big guys up front of Greenville County kind of dominate the line of scrimmage right now, too. On both sides of the football. So, Brooklyn has a third down. Third down about 10. Brooklyn looking for Coach Grady to get his sign. Brooklyn gets the snap. Just Brooklyn on drops back the pass. He's looking to throw it. He it's throws it open. And he has a guy. He has Kyle oh. open, and he out of the out of his hands right there. Great coverage right there by number thirty-four, Corey Simpkins. It was also a great throw, uh, great call. Just not there. Just better defense. Yeah, great great cover defense right there by Mr. Corey Simpkins of the Greensville County Eagles. So it's fourth down right here. And think about it. That stops the clock here. So now. So do and you it like well to make go for it? Look like they're going for it. Now we know Greenville County with that speed, they can strike quick. So if they're able to get a stop, they got time. They have time to maybe put points on the board for a half. And yeah, maybe we can see Greenville's offensive uh, air game. Exactly. So Brooklyn back up on the final wing formation. Brooklyn I get right back to the same thing. He, he drops it. He slips, and he is met and brought down. So. And Brooklyn just lost his footing, but you saw you saw the you saw the ends coming. They were coming the whole time. They came unblocked right there. That's a great job to dial up the pressure on fourth down for the Eagles. Well, your quarterback's eight yards deep, and you got six green helmets on him. No other blue other helmet around. That's a problem. So, kudos to the Greensville County defense. They are playing phenomenal tonight. Phenomenal tonight. So Greensville County takes over on offense. So what do you do right here? What do you do? If I'm Greenville. I wouldn't risk a turnover. I'd go into halftime the way my defense playing, up six nothing, satisfied. Well, not me. I'm I'm a little different. I'm I'm gonna be greedy. I'm trying to score. Yeah. So they got man to man coverage on the outside. We got so, 41 seconds to find out. Robinson up on the center. Robinson looking to pass. It looks like they're going for the he whole has, time. He's going for it. And he has a man wide open. Oh, he's oh, there to the ten, five. Touchdown, Eagles! 65 yards. So touchdown, Eagles right there by Lazan Peebles right there from Eric Robinson. And what did I just tell you? Be a little greedy. It's okay to be greedy right now. When we talked about this a week ago, too, how Greenville isn't afraid to go to the air, and they just show right there why. Guys, that was big right there, and that's what we were talking about. You don't want to give up a score. That, that, that's just it's inexcusable to let a man run by your safeties this late in the half. You go, you're under 50 seconds, and now you're down two scores instead of one. Our formation. Robinson back up in the center. Robinson looking to roll out. He has a man, and he catches it back to Peebles. And that two-point conversion is good right there. So now the score 14 to zero. Greenville County Eagles up, and right there only took only took 10 seconds. That's right. 
a 65 yard strike to Peebles, then a two point conversion to Peebles, and it's a totally different ball game right now. All right, and I believe that kind of that kind of sucked the life out of Weldon right there because you had a big fourth down, had a big fourth down, unable to convert right there. They get back, and I told you, you said going to half a six. No, I'm trying to be greedy. This is the first game of the season. They're trying to pull out. They're trying to make a statement right here too. Well, and they might have just ripped the heart out of Weldon sideline over there. So, and like you said, that's a big, that's a big play going into the half. So, 32 seconds left in the half. 32 seconds left in the half. Greensville County up 14 to nothing over the Weldon Chargers here at Greensville County High School. As the the sun is going down, and we got the got the softball lights coming on. Y'all see the baseball field over there. Nothing better. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You got, you got two baseball guys up there, two guys. That y'all know, two <laughs> baseball guys. So, but we're in football season. The start of football season. So, Greensville County, get ready to set to kick it off. Well, and Coach, in six and nothing ball game, you can plan a little different from 14 to nothing. Sure. 14 to nothing in a ball game like this, with the way Green was playing defense, that's a, that's a big hill to climb. All right there. So, short kick right there, able to get to Jeffrey Whitaker. Jeffrey Whitaker able to get a short game right there. So, you got 26.5 seconds left in the first half. And also, too, let's shout out one of our sponsors, the Center, the Center of Energy Education. It's all about clean energy, clean earth, and healthy living. The Center of Energy Education. Well, if I'm welding right here, I can't be satisfied. I can't be deterred. I got to go for I got to try to get a quick strike right here. And I want to know who's going to make a play for the Chargers. Who's going to make a play for the Chargers? They can't get anything out of the passing game. The running game's been going in sprints. They need a big play. Who's going to be Who's going to be the leader? Who's going to be the home run hitter for the Chargers? Chargers. That's right. Somebody's got to step up right here. So Brickle trots back in. Twenty six point five seconds left in the first half here. Greensville County as the crowd is getting bigger and bigger here. So back to it. Brooklyn back up on the center, wishbone formation. Brooklyn takes the snap. Hands it off left side of Samaya Scott. He plows ahead for a short game. And it looks like Weldon's going to be satisfied down 14 to nothing. Uh, hopefully, they'll come out and play a totally different half in the second half. And that might be the last play of the half right there. As the clock winds down on the first half, the Greensville County is going to go up 14 to nothing over the Weldon Chargers going into halftime here. So, Aaron, what's your thoughts on the first half? My thoughts on the first half was it was pretty even to that last throw. Uh, both, both defenses were playing outstanding, and the Chargers just gave up that big play, and it's a totally different ball game now. And I, and if I can Ladies and gentlemen, you, you can't allow that big play under 50 seconds right there. And, and you know, the, the, the momentum was starting to go back to the Chargers right there. So what does Grady Williams and the coaching staff do for the Chargers to get those guys going, to get back going into the second half? Because this is a big ball game. They only played a quarter and a half last other night. Now they're down now they're 14 to nothing right there. So we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. As we ready to get set to have an interview with Greensville County coach, Coach Brown. Set to talk to Coach Stewart in just a second. And like I said, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in to BigSportsNC.com. Had a great start to this game. Uh, had a three and out. Got a uh, touchdown on your first uh, offensive play. Then had a big one late. How do you keep the momentum going for your Eagles? I was young and early, man. We just we, we just went, left a couple down there, fumbled the ball a couple times. I think we left two touchdowns out here on the field. Talk about the defense a little bit. They've looked stout against that Weldon running game. They're, they're, they're young, man, but they're hungry. Those kids, they come out to play. They come to practice every day. They execute do what we ask them. Excellent. Coach, thank you so much. You. Fellas, there you have it. The Eagles up 14-0 at the half. He's playing strong defense with a young team. The air game looked to be the difference right there. Throwing it back up to you. And th th thank you, Coach Stoltenwood and Coach Brown for talking with us. And we're going to take a break. We're going to have time. And we'll be back. Big Sports Digital Network. 
ready for some football? Let our friends at Ren Sports Graphics and Screen Printing design and print your next team's logo. Do you have a 10, 20, or 30-year high school class reunion coming up? Or maybe your church, civic organization, or business needs t-shirts. Contact Randy Wren at Ren Sports Graphics and Screen Printing. Located on 10 East 11th Street, Roanoke Rapids. And you can find them on Facebook. Or call 252-673-5491. Hello everyone, I'm Joffrey coming to you live from White Motors in Run Up Rapids. I'd like to thank all y'all for your support for coming out here in your vehicle selection and purchases. You have a great sale going on. No money down, no payment for a month and a half. I'd like to thank all y'all and encourage you to come out here and see me, Joffrey Sharon at White Motors. I also I'm a big sports fan. I'm a charger, so I like to say go chargers, charge on on your big game on Friday.
talking to them like that. I can hear them talking to them. Jennifer Lynch at White Motors inviting everyone out Saturday, August the 31st from 10.30 to 2.30 to our Customer Appreciation Day. We're going to give away free hot dogs, chips, and drinks. We're going to have some free door prizes as well as registration for a free Yeti cooler. I'm going to have the end of my shoe drive for kids um, back to school shoe drive ages kindergarten through 12th. Also doing a 50-50 raffle to benefit the Boys and Girls Club of Vernon Rapids. So we look forward to seeing everyone here. Hi, I'm Connie at GW Huxton Company, and I'm here to remind you about open enrollment for Medicare plans, which is October 15th through December 7th. If you're satisfied with your plan, you don't need to make any changes. But if you have any questions or concerns, we're here to help. So please contact us at GW Huxon Company. GW Huxon Company! I don't know, it's, it's, it's the commercials are loud when you were talking right now. Nah. You can't hear the commercial. Commercial is down. No, I no we heard it real loud. loud. That's what I'm saying. It's real loud. Okay, we're hot now. Go. Talk. All right, so back to the action. Here at halftime. Here at halftime, we're 14 to nothing. Greensville County up as the band just performed. I want to give a couple of quick updates. We got some score updates for the Toronto. You got the Kip Pride Panthers. They're up 14 to nothing over Lakewood right now. And the Roanoke Rapids Yellow Jackets are up. 23 to nothing in the first quarter over the Southeast Trojans. They're playing right here tonight. So, like I said, great action, great action going on in the Roanoke Valley area and surrounding areas. And we're here in the great town of Emporia, Virginia, for the Battle of the Border here. The Weldon Chargers, they're down 14 to nothing over the Greensville County Eagles. And I got Mr. Aaron Strickland still here with me. So, Aaron, what's one of the keys to going into the second half that you think the Chargers need to do? They got to move the football. Um, they have to execute. They have to uh, cut down on uh, turnovers and penalties. And it looks like now they're going to have to stop that air game, also. And we and we knew and I knew eventually that uh, Greensville County they like to put the ball in the air with their speed. And Robinson being a, a multifaceted athlete, one of the you can see he punts the ball, he runs the ball, he throws the ball. So he's probably one of their better athletes right there. And you see they like to hit they like to hit number seven uh, Peebles in the pass game. He was able to get a two point conversion and then a sixty plus yard touchdown catch right there. So looking to looking to see and and also too the Greensville County defense has played phenomenal tonight. Played phenomenal. Got a couple of turnovers against the Chargers right here. So guess what? We're right now. We're gonna take a break and we'll be back. Big sports. Your office running is more than just pens, paper, and ink. It's about having what you need when you need it. With over 100,000 items available, Lynch's Office Supply is sure to have what you need. And if it's not already in the store, it's usually available in just one day. That's Lynch's Office Supply in Roanoke Rapids. Hometown service, superstore prices. Hey, this is Steve Burnett from Copy Center, 10 East 10th Street, Rome Raps, North Carolina. Come on by and see us. We've got the miniature helmets for sale now. We've got the NFL Pro helmets. We've got the college helmets. And we've got custom helmets we can do for you. Come by and see us. Get a good deal for your birthdays, Christmas, or just for football season. We're at 10 East 10th Street, Rome Rapids, or you can like us on Facebook at Copy Center of Rome Rapids. And we're back to the action as the teams are getting ready. Warming up, getting set to roll here at Greensville County, the Battle of the Border. Yes, it's me, Coach D here. We got my man Aaron Strickland here. And we got Coach Andre Stewart being our sideline reporter. That's right, people. We're big time. Sideline reporting. That's what we do at Big Sports. And wanna thank, wanna thank all the people. Wanna thank a couple of our sponsors. GW Hux and Company. Open enrollment. Medicare plan starts at October 15th through December 7th. Learn more about GWHuxInsurance.com. Also want to thank Lynch's Office Supply and Ronald Rapids, your hometown service 
for su at superstore prices. And give us insurance as well, your local nationwide insurance agency. And also, too, Nissan of Roanoke Rapids. Play and power with safety innovation. Come and see the all-new 2020 Nissan Rogue Sport at your local Nissan dealership. Because Big Sports, because of them, Big Sports is able to bring you the high school game of the week each week at BigSportsNC.com. Coach, bringing that up, uh, are you having a four downs tomorrow morning? No, there will not be a four down show tomorrow. We we will we will be with people. We will be staggering our schedule. But you know, if anybody follows me on social media, follows Big Sports on social media, I like to put my little updates, my little tidbits, and check it out. This week, guess what? I'm putting out my official top 15 players in the area for the, after the first week of the season. So make sure people tune in to that. But you can also go back on BigSportsNC.com to check out the Big Sports. Uh, uh, Four Downs Coach D show. You can also check out the previous games. Everything that we got going on. We got dirt track, dirt track racing going on as well. So make sure, make sure you tune in if you like dirt track. Or you like racing? Not at all. You don't like racing? Not at all. So, well, at least you're honest. At least you're honest. <laughs> So we gotta get. Look, I, I don't look, get it. I mean, look, look, you, you got cars right around a circle and a circle and a circle well, and a circle and a circle. Well, look, maybe we need to go out there. Maybe we put the headset on. We can go out there and, and we'll have talk. some fun with it. We'll have some. We will have some fun with it. Get a little dirt with the red mud. Get a little dust. I don't look. mind getting dirty. I'm just not a. I mean, cars going round and round is just not amuse me. I mean, if they pile. <laughs> dirt track. All right, uh, the dirt track. I've had a chance, and it is a unique thing. You have to look at strategy. You have to look at competition. There is a strategy between going through uh, curves one, two, three, and four, and how you, if you're in position five, position six, or position one. It really is a strategy. And once you understand it, like hockey, you have to be there to watch it to understand it. Well, how about this? How about we get a big ball going? <laughs> uh, no, it's too dirty, and the equipment ain't going out. Well, well Jay, I, I, I particularly run around first, second, third, and going home. <laughs> so, and there you have it. There go our dirt rice, correct, dirt rice track, track analogy. So back to the action. Hey, good, with the kick. Great kick right great there. Kick. And, Stay it rolls, bounce. Ah. and it rolls out of bounds right there, but a great kick right there. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, mm. if I'm not mistaken, that brings the ball to the 35. Is that correct? Kicking the ball out of bounds on the kickoff. All right, guys. Uh, start the kickoff mistake by the Chargers. Stewart with a kick out of bounds. Looks like they're going to make them re-kick it. Um, this is a big series for the Chargers, guys. They're down two scores. You want to make sure that you can hold it right there and get your offense going. Uh, so this is, we'll see how the body language is down here on the sideline. I'll be moving back and forth. So I'm going to throw it back to you guys up there. This is a big time for the Chargers. Right there. I want to thank Coach Thor for roaming the sidelines and like being a big sideline guy. And look, shout out to the Greensville County people up here up top with us, up here chilling. I want to thank these guys up here. There's some great guys up here. They're chilling. they they happy the guys winning right here. You got to see a lot of smiles on the face. It's been a great game all in all. You know, it's been two good defenses. It's it's really been one big play that's been the difference in this ball game. So Stewart with the kick falls on it. That's number 37. Mm -hmm. Jalen falls on the football. So Rainsville County takes over having that great last possession. By the Eagles, the will start in the second half from their own 34-yard line. Uh, let's see what Will does to change up a little bit their defense. And let's see if Greenwood goes back to the air air attack and can make the charges pay. All right, so Robinson back up on the center. We're going to see if they can put some more points on the board and, 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 poss and possibly put this game out of reach. So Robinson up on the center. Robinson takes it, pitch it. Oh, Runs a reverse. Where's the reverse number 13? A and he has a lot of running room. He's looking for a block. He's still going. He cuts it back off field. He's still going. He's down right here. He's still going. 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 He's still yeah, he was he was a block away from one right there. So first down right here at the 50 for the Eagles. So it's like the Eagles spreading the offense out a little bit more here in the second half. Robinson up on the center. 
Robinson hands it off to the left side. Got a lot of room. Blue looking for some room. He's still going. He's still going. Oh, he fumbles. fumbles the football. I don't know who. I think Greenwood jumped back Greenwood, on it. Greenwood County jumped back on it. Dodd is a bullet right there. But it looked like after getting the first down, it looked like he threw the ball back with about six yards. Yeah, he got he got met by contact and brought back. And that was that was recovered by number 47 for the Eagles, Jaquez Connor. Mm -hmm. So second down right now. The Eagles and the Chargers, that would have been a big play for the Chargers right there. Guys, I'm going to play coach for a second and pick on Stewart again. He's tracking across the line of scrimmage instead of getting to the heel level and coming deep. He's also getting pinned inside some. He's got to play better with his hands. They're attacking to their offensive left right now. So blue with the running room, blue looks And as soon as I say that, they bounce it to the right. He's still going. With a big hole. That's a good tackle right there. But the Chargers have got to tighten up. They blocking us just uh, with Greenville. While I was waiting for Coach Doc to go in, that's what they were doing. They were making adjustments with their blocking. So it looks like it's paid off the first three plays of the second half. So right there, right there, that was a, almost a touchdown save and tackle right there by number two, Trey Austin, right there. But another great run by Kendall Blue. He's had some great runs tonight, man. Yeah, he's he's all over the place. He's he's not a, you hit him and he's going down. He's he's getting a lot of yards uh, after contact. So first down for the Eagles, 10 minutes, 55 seconds left in the third quarter. Dijon Harris in the backfield. Taking off for Blue. Robinson up on the center. Inside handoff to the fullback, and he gets positive yardage right there. That's number 47. That's a Julius Connor right there. They run ransom with the tackle. And as you see right now, they bounce out about outside, then they get a little bit inside with Connor right there. So they're mixing it up inside and out. You're, you're starting to see the Greensville County offense starting to click a little bit now. Yeah, I think they kind of filled out uh, Weldon's defense and know kind of how to spread it a little bit, and it's, it's giving them a lot of holes. Robinson up on the center. I think Weldon may be scared of this right back. here, too. Ball in the pass. flat to Peebles. Peebles still running. He's brought down. A little oh, short right hit. Great hit right there by Trey Austin. But like you said, they're looking, they're looking to get Peebles out there in the flat and see if he can make some make something happen right there. But that's a first down for the Eagles. Yeah, that rollout's helped. Uh, it's been there all night long. Um, guys. Looking Greenville on the drive right here. Chargers got to stand up and make a stand. This is huge right here. You can't give it up right here, or you really dig a hole uh, with, you know, 20 minutes to go in the half. So under 10 minutes in the third quarter, Greensville County driving Robinson up on the center. Robinson rolls out. He's met, and he is brought down right there, and that tackle was made by number four, Jalen Taylor, able to get through the line and hold on to that jersey and bring him down. So second down for the Eagles as they're trying to march home and, and possibly put this game out of reach right now. Second and goal right now, Coach. So and we're in the red zone. And the red zone is brought to you by White Motors of Ronald Rapids, North Carolina. So Greensville County up on the center. Robinson. Takes it. Robinson hands it off to Blue. Blue looking for some running room. Blue still Eight. going. He gets in the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown. Kill Blue on the touchdown run. And see, Coach, you could have drove a Mack truck through that hole that they just created right there. And, and as we said, the Greensville County. Oh, we got a flag on the play or was that's a football? Yeah. So Green, Greensville County, as you see, they're controlling the line of scrimmage right now. Yeah, they definitely uh, they're running away with this ball game, literally. So, Burns are kind of looking to go for two right here. Nine minutes, ten seconds left in the third quarter. Burns are kind of rolls back. He's looking. Gets it. Behind him and dropped. Incomplete pass right there. So the score right now, 20 to nothing over the Wilder Chargers. The, Eagles. the Greens are kind of Eagles are winning right now. Nine minutes, ten seconds left in the third quarter. Big score. Chargers body language, a lot of walking off the field. You can't be tired. We're three minutes into the second half. So it's going to be important right now that this drive yields some points for the Chargers because they need something positive to get them back into this game. So so that's from Coach Stewart right there. And Aaron, what, what do we see right now? The, the, they basically asserted that they really kind of asserted their wheel up front, able to run the football. Not much of the pass, but just basically runs and able to control the line of scrimmage and score basically easily right there. Yeah, and, and the thing that's, that I'm saying right now is the Chargers, heads down, hands on hips. Uh, it's, it's a lot of 
is it, this is still a ball game. You yeah. know, this this is still a attainable ball game to catch up to. Uh, this game been over by a long shot. But this this is where I go back to the coach. Who who was the leader? Who who was who was leading? Who's going to lead these guys? Get these guys heads up right now because the body language tells everything. That's right. So Greensville County kicks it off. Balls off the Charger, and they're able to recover right there. And that was. That was, that and was going to be in good field position mm-hmm. right to start but their can, first drive of the second half. But are, are they going to be able to capitalize on it? And that's, and that's the key thing. So nine minutes, four seconds left in the third quarter. Greensville County up 20 to nothing over the Weldon Chargers here in Emporia, Virginia. Yeah, and Coach, I, I still, you still have to get Greenville out of that that bunch. You know, you got to spread your offense a little bit to, to try to give your offense some, some running room. Um, but that's just me. I mean, but you're, you're being exactly right. When you can put nine, ten guys in the box with no threat of a passing game, it basically makes the game simple. So Brooke back up on the center. That's right. You hit the you hit the quarterback or you hit the receiver. Brooke looking for some runner on like it's a miss handoff right there, and he's going to be met and swarmed and brought down for a loss right there. It would have swarmed. You saw number thirty-seven in on that. That was Jalen Jones. Yeah, it looked like definitely like a miscommunication between a quarterback and a um, tailback right yeah, there. Yeah, he was looking to hand it off and no and no one was there right there. So a loss of yardage right there. And that clock is running. Eight minutes, thirty-nine seconds left in the third quarter. Here, here at Greensville County High School, people, big sports is crossed over the border. We in Virginia, people. What do you think, Aaron? I, I think that Greenville's having their way with this nine man in the box. And they're, they're able to creep their corner into it. I mean, you're basically playing a ten man box uh, because, as we've seen, Weldon really hasn't had a so Brooklyn, passing game at all yet. So Brooklyn hands it off to Jalen Taylor. Jalen Taylor able to get some positive. Yardage right there, but that's gonna that's gonna make it third down right here. I want to thank a couple of our sponsors: Runner Grabbers Collision Center, Holding Temporary Ink, and Triple A Storage Shields. I want to thank our local sponsors that promote BigSportsNC.com wherever we go that makes it possible so we can broadcast high school football on Friday nights and even Monday nights because we do Monday night football too. Right? <laughs> hey, you gotta keep it real. That's right. So Brickleback, I'm gonna send a third down and a very manageable. And a very manageable third down. And it looks like he might have got it. He might. He might it's follow. It's going to be very close. Very close right there. It's going to be fourth and short right here. And you're at the point of the ball game. You got to go for it. Oh, 100%. Right I there. think you got to measure this. So, actually, that's going to be two great runs right there. Yeah, he's going to be about a yard short. It's going to be like fourth, fourth and one right here. Right here, I, I, I put my eyes. I'm going to play call right here for a second. Uh, you are playing an 11 man box, actually. If you run a trap or a counter, you got to get something that hits quick and that can, you can bounce outside. You can't outrun it to the corner. So, Brooklyn about the center. Quarterback sneak. That's a big push right there. Big push. And that's going to be a first down for the Chargers right there. And that's the first down right there. And that's brought to you by GWHuxInsurance.com. So a, big, a big first down right there for the Chargers. So, 6 minutes, 49 seconds left in the third quarter. Eagles up twenty to nothing over the Chargers. Well, and, and, and with the Chargers' first possession here in the second half, they look a lot better on the center than they did the whole first half. So, back to a first down charge. Brooklyn up on the center. Brooklyn takes the handoff left side to Jalen Taylor. He's met, met right there for, for maybe a two, three, a two yard game right there. Right? And then we got an injured player on the field. Yeah, we got a man down. That's gonna look like Mr. Stewart. Yeah, so we got an injured player right there. Uh, he actually he gets back up right there, so we got a stop and play. And that's brought to you by Halifax Works Express and Run Up Graphics, North Carolina. So Stewart's gonna have to come off the field. He's gonna have to come off the field right there. They're gonna have to bring a play on. And that's your center right there, so let's see yeah, this 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 could this could might not bode well for the Chargers because that's your starting center. So if any kind of mix up between the uh, exchange from center to quarterback, this could be big right here as they bring in number fifty, number fifty, Darren Sorrento. Yeah, I watched I watched some of that last night watching the 49ers and the Chargers uh, bringing in a backup center, and it was four or five missed snaps, and uh, they cut him today. <laughs> Brickle up on the center. Brickle gets the handoff. Brickle looking to pass. Brickle has a man and overthrows him. Had Jeffrey Whitaker coming down the scene and overthrows him. 
you put a little bit more air into that mm-hmm. football, you got a touchdown. Mm-hmm. And then what it was, he saw the pressure coming. And he was trying to get rid of the foot, trying to get rid of the football. So third down for the Chargers. So Stewart checks back into the ball game. Looking to see if they can capitalize right here. Like I said, this is big right here. Yeah, any any positive yardage is good, but they, they're going to need a score right now. It's third and about a long eight uh, here at about the 38-yard line. This is a big down for the Chargers. So Brooklyn up on the center getting his guys situated. We have wishbone formation. Double tight end. Brooklyn looking to run. Brooklyn uh, is mad and, and he is stuffing. We got a flag on the play. Yeah, we got a flag on the play, and that might be on green. And Brickell is down, and he he get he gets up. We got a flag on the play. Waiting, to, waiting for the call. That's gonna be on. That's gonna be on the on Greenville County. Guys, right now, sounds like the snap count probably needs to be adjusted some. That was a big miss pass a second ago. Um, but right now, Greensville knows the snap count, and they are smaller and they are quicker and they are penetrating. The Chargers, one thing you hadn't seen from the Chargers is nobody's cutting anybody up front. You've got to cut those legs out from under those guys and uh, slow that pass rush down. It looks like a chop block right there on Greenville County. It's going to bring up a yeah, re- so replay the fourth down. So actually, like I said, flag on the Eagles right now. It's fourth down, correct? Am I correct on that? They got That's two on the down. sideline. Yeah, yeah okay. they- yeah, the market. This the market said on second. The scoreboard says fourth down. So, back to the action. And Brooklyn's look a little hurt right now. As you can see him kind of limping to that pile. He took a he took a shot right there. Yeah, he still he still looks like he's in some pain and agony. So Brooklyn up on the center. Brooklyn has it, hands it off to Jalen. Oh, Taylor. Some Jalen oh. Oh, and he breaks it. Jalen like he Taylor. got close to a first down. Yeah, he, gets a, he gets a first down right there. It's gonna be first down charges. And that first down is brought to by GW Hucks Insurance.com. That'll make your quarterback feel better quickly. So first down charges. Five minutes, 35 seconds left in the third quarter. And that clock is running right now. And as you see, as you see, Brickle, Brickle, the quarterback, is still limping. He took he took a shot right there. So we'll let's see how, how you make it out the rest of the game. Brickle hands it, hands it off to the right side of Jalen Taylor. Jalen Taylor looking for a running room. It gets more positive yardage right now. You know, if I'm Brickle, I'm going to grab my, my lineman in the face mask and say, hey, look, protect me at all costs. Exactly. Because that, that he, he's playing both sides of the football That's right, right. now. He's playing both sides of the football right now. And that clock is running almost at five minutes left in the third quarter. Charles is looking to capitalize here at Greensville County High School, home of the Greensville County Eagles here. Beautiful football Friday night. Yes, it is. Shaped out to be a very great night. So, Brooklyn up on the center, wishbone formation. Hands it off to Samaya Scott. Samaya Scott looking for some running room. And he gets oh, yeah. oh, it. looks like a charge out in front. Oh. And Greensville County recovers. Oh. Turnover for Greensville County. Yeah, Greenville County recovers. And the big man falls on the football. I believe that was number 77. That was number 77, Jacoby Jones. Falls on the football, some turnover charges after a great drive right there. Chargers driving, looking pretty good, and they caught the football up. Uh, it's been a story of this ball game. Yeah. And, the, and, the, and the mistake that was made right there was the Chargers tried to pick, scoop it up, and run with it instead of just falling on top of it. So, Eagles take over. Four minutes, 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Looking to see if they can put some more points on the board right here. Robinson up on the center. 4-3 off defense. We got, uh, a flag whistle. On the we got a flag on the play right here. I think the fullback might have moved a little early. So, so want to thank all the people that's tuned in. want to thank all the 11,000 people that's tuned in and watched a portion of the game tonight, Aaron. Oh, It would have been more than that if they could have saw us. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, look. That's why right. I want. I want a camera next time. Straight. That's right. I'll, yeah, I want a camera next time. You got Al, Michael, and Troy Aikman up here. Uh, we, we need some. We need some video time. Uh, I'm just, you know, 
I'm just I, I I won't even I won't even comment on that right there. I won't even comment. So back to back about Shaq and Bill Ray Beer. <laughs> that, that's even better. That's even better. That's even better right there. So Coach uh, Stewart, Coach Stewart on the sideline. It's uh. I, uh, what was that? What was the Oliver oh, guy's oh, name? Oh, Blue has running room. Oh, he's got he's down the sideline. Like he came up lane like a it looked like he did. Yeah, uh, right now that's gonna be a hit. I think that's, that's a hamstring. Hit. Yeah, he's Uh-oh. going to grab it. And right there, that's gonna be. He's not. So he he pops up. He's fine. He's fine right there. I don't know if he's fine. That's that's. So he's gonna come out of the ball game right there. Like him might have cramped up right there. And that's brought to you by Halifax Burke Healthcare. Boy, Coach C, up twenty to nothing. Do you risk bringing him back in the football game after seeing something like that right there? Just throw running back. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta feed him a little bit. He wants, he wants to play. These guys are anxious to play, hyped up to play. But this is also week one, coach. Um, you, 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 your week one, a long football season. Uh, it's, it's, it's early. Robinson runs it, looks at, like, hands it off. That's a fumble. It looks like the Chargers are gonna jump on it. Chargers gonna jump on it, and Jalen Taylor recovers the fumble right there. And they. Taylor Taylor recovers the fumble right they on the capitalize miss. on a big turnover. Um, let's see if they can let's see if they can cash in. And they're basically back at the same field position they were at. Yeah, right they're there. exactly where they were, just missing about Guys, two minutes. Chargers showing a little heart right now. Could have folded right there, down three scores. That was big right there. Chargers defensive end still have to stay wide. They got to stay wide and hit that quarterback in the mouth on the option. But this is a great time. If they can go back and punch this in, we got a ball game in the fourth quarter. And I want to thank Coach Stewart for being our sideline reporter tonight. Four minutes, 25 seconds left in the third quarter. Appreciate it, Oliver Miller. So, Brickle back up on the center. <laughs> Brickle hands it off to Jalen hey, Taylor. He's got the money with Coach. Jalen Taylor has it right on. And it's a touchdown. Jalen Taylor for the Weldon Chargers. Able to punch it in, get the, get the formal recovery, and now able to capitalize right there. Well, and see, that's exactly the the tides that you need to turn this ball game around. Uh, you still got four minutes and 18 seconds going to third quarter. A whole another second quarter. This this ball game is far from over, as I told you earlier, Coach. You just can't you just can't hang your head. You just got to go at it and, and and continue to make and continue to play football. And he's a he's a senior, so we said who's going to step up and lead his team, lead the charge. And great run by that right there by Mr. Jalen Taylor, aka Too Short, as they call him. He's tight. He's a, he's thick, but he's small. So. I go right back to him right here. Brickle up, up on the center. We got some the flag on the play. There was some movement up front. That was on Grange County, I believe, right there. It looks like so, it. Right there, guys. I'm telling you what, that was the best block play uh, that the Chargers have had all season long. Body language is picked up. You're down by 14 points right here. So let's see if they can punch this in and make this thing interesting going to the fourth quarter. Yeah, that's exactly what we talked about, Coach D. Is is, is body language? You know, uh, your your guys, and that's that's a two point conversion. And Brooklyn runs it in for the two point conversion. You're, you're only you're only down twelve points right now. All right. So the score twenty to twenty to eight. Greenwood County over Weldon. We're gonna take a break. And we'll be back. Big sports. Jennifer Lynch at White Motors inviting everyone out Saturday, August the thirty first, from ten thirty to two thirty to our Customer Appreciation Day. We're going to give away free hot dogs, chips, and drinks. We're going to have some free door prizes as well as registration for a free Yeti cooler. I'm going to have the end of my shoe drive for kids, um, back to school shoe drive, ages kindergarten through 12th. Also doing a 50-50 raffle to benefit the Boys and Girls Club of Vernon Rapids. So we look forward to seeing everyone here. Hi, I'm Connie at GW Hux and Company, and I'm here to remind you about open enrollment for Medicare plans, which is October 15th through December 7th. If you're satisfied with your plan, you don't need to make any changes, but if you have any questions or concerns, we're here to help. So please contact us at GW Hux and Company. GW Hux and Company! So back to the action. Brinsville County up 20 to 8 over the Chargers. Deep kick by Andre Stewart Jr. And the ball is mishandled. And Brinsville County's looking for some running room. And the Chargers get it and they bring them down. That Andre Stewart Jr. with the kick. And that kick and the kickoffs are brought to you by Givens Insurance, your nationwide insurance agent right there. Yeah, coach, yeah, you can see that. Well, it looks like they want it more right now. They're they're 
they're they're hustling a lot more. You got a you got a Greenville player down holding his left knee. Yeah, that's gonna be number twenty. A right knee. That's gonna be number twenty. Is Rozell Kendrick right there? So the issue, <laughs> the health report is brought to you by Halifax Works Healthcare Express. Guys, quick question. And when we look back at the end of this game, how big was that score at the end of the half? Now, that was a huge score that was a huge mental lapse by the Chargers and now they've got to overcome that down by 12. So let's see the juices picked up over here on the Chargers sideline. We'll see if they can fight through, get a turnover and uh, possibly punch it again and make this thing closer going to the four. And there you go, Coach. There you go, Coach Stewart right there. So I'm right there, number 22 on the field. Mr. Mr. Rozell Kendrick. Uh, that's brought to you by Halifax Worth Health. It is it is Greenville's as he's being 10 2 on the field. Uh, the Chargers on their sideline. Uh, they're tending to his it looks like his right leg. Not sure if it's his knee or his ankle. Being helped off the field. Uh, he's, he's he's walking off on his own power, so that's pretty good. That's that's a great sign to see. So Greensville County takes over four minutes, ten seconds left in the third. It looks like it looks like another cramp there, Coach. Seeing that they seeing that they can seeing that they can be, get that momentum back because it's like the momentum starting to swing in the Chargers' favor. So back at it, Robinson back up on the center. And Virginia hadn't started school yet either, had the coach. I don't, I don't really know. Toss to the toss to the right left side. That's blue. Blue looking for some. Oh, he's got blue head to, to the fifty, to the forty, to the thirty. To catch it. And he's brought down. Oh. He got another flag on the play. Flag on the play. That, that looks like it's coming back. Coach. Looks like a, looks like it's gonna be a block in the back. And if it is, that's the second. That's the second big run by Blue. And Blue's hurt on the sideline again. Yeah, he's. See, that's exactly what I just talked to you about. Exactly. So we got another injury right here, and this brought to you by Halifax Worth. Healthcare Express. So he pops back up. He pops back up, and that that runs coming back, Aaron. Yeah, it looks like it looks like he blocked him in the back a little bit. So, so four minutes even left in the third quarter. Score twenty to eight. Weldon Charters looking to see if they can put another score on the board to cut into this deficit. But Greensville County with the football off that penalty, so it's going to bring that run back. And like I said, blue is the bell cow for this team. And you see every time he touches the ball, is a big play right here. Well, and that also negates a 60-yard run to, a, to negative five yards. So you're looking at a inside your own 25 to your opponent's 20. So that's a, that's a big play right there. So... Robinson and back up on the center. Robinson takes it now, looking to roll, looking to hit. Peebles in the flat. Peebles looking for some running room. He's brought and he is brought into the sidelines right there. And that was actually covered pretty well right there. And that was Trey Austin in on the cover. They gave it a game out of bounds. But as you see, Peebles is their go-to guy in the passing game. That's right. And it looks like they look for that same pass every time. So I mean, and it looks like Wilton picked up on it. But, but every time he's rolled out, he basically hit him on every time besides, I believe, one drop. Uh, and it looks like he's a little gimp. It looks like he's a little gimp in that right say, leg. First, first game, these guys are you know kind of getting the kinks out too. So yeah, they need to get him a lot of fruit or some mustard or some pickles or something. <laughs> Nothing like the mustard, right? Nothing like the mustard. So three minutes, fifty-two seconds left in the third quarter. Everybody always laughs at those baseball guys, but you give me a pack of mustard, I will suck it and never have a cramp. So now Robinson, older. Robinson up on the center, hands it off. Hands it off the Greens County. He has some running room. Oh, he got a lot of he, has, he, he might hit daylight. He's to the 40. He's to the 30. And he is brought down. First down, Greens County. That was by number five, DeJohn. Came in for Kendall Blue. And able to get the same run. Able to get that long run. But on a positive note for Weldon, did you see Ransom? He came out of nowhere. That's what That was lightning. So, guys, what I see down here is they're attacking the right side of the Chargers defense. They're turning them out. And, kick, and washing the uh, the tackle up onto the linebacker, and Blue is running all day down here. You got to get tough up front, wall that thing, stonewall it so it has to bounce. Otherwise, he's going to run for 150 yards in the second half. Well, it looks like Dejon Harris is going uh, is eating that same side alive. Exactly. So Robinson back up on the center first down for the Eagles. Robinson roll, roll out. out. He has some rolling. He breaks the tackle. tackle. 
Oh, and, oh, and he is brought brought down. Great open field oh, topper oh, right there by number 32, Kayvon Ransom. You just mentioned he's able to make a make some great catches, by the way. He's he's definitely been the leading charter tonight. Uh, he's he's on every. It seems like he's on every play. Yeah, he's, you see number thirty two fly on every play. Able to make some great game on touchdown saving tackles right. And I think if Robinson bounces that thing a little more wider, he has a, he's able to pick up a first down right there. Kind of cut and brought it back in. But second down, two minutes fifty five seconds left in the third quarter. And as we talked about last week, Coach, I don't like seeing a kid lead their feet because that could turn out so ugly. Yeah. Uh, Seattle, the Seahawks had a guy the other night who landed on his neck. Now they say that it could be a career ending in the injury. Uh, and, and these kids are young. And, oh, it's a fun one to play. I think the Chargers right. got it. And the Chargers recover. It is recovered by the Chargers right there. And on that like recovery, Joseph Ferguson. Or on that recovery, Joseph is, Peterson. Is my man, Big Joe Peterson, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. on the recovery. So turnover right there. And Greensville County is leaving that door open for the Chargers right now. Yes, so, the, momentum, the momentum has definitely shifted here in the second half. Yeah, yeah you start maybe, 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 maybe this being the first game, we're really kind of still trying to work the kinks out, like you said. But can can this defense hold up against the Chargers right now? Well, and and, and Weldon's also played a full, complete game as at the, at this point right yeah, now. Yeah, now, now. Um, so so they're they're starting to feel each other and get used to each other because uh, they're a fairly young group. Exactly. So Brickle back up on the center wing formation. Brickle takes the snap. Hands it off to the right side of Jalen Taylor. Jalen Taylor looking for some running room. He's still going. And he's brought down. It's about a about six, seven yard game right there. Well done, just guys. Momentum is turning to the white jerseys down here. That was a big turnover. A positive run on first yard uh, by Jalen Taylor. Do the Chargers have enough juice in the last 14 minutes to pull this thing out? This is going to get interesting if they can drive this thing and punch it in right here. So. Second down for the Chargers as they look to drive the football down the field to get another score. Brickle back up on the center. Wing formation. Just under two minutes ago here in the third quarter. Brickle quick screen. To screen Jeff pass. Whitaker down. For some running room. Whitaker gets a first down. Screen. Screen to Whitaker. Whitaker able to get ahead get a first down. And as we talked about the passing game, it's short pass, but able to get a first down to keep those chains moving. When the, the passing game opens up everything, uh, if he, if even if it's only two or three yards, I mean you have to respect that because those two or three yards could also lead to a big play for the Chargers as well as it did for the Eagles in the first half. So first down, Chargers. That first down was brought to you by GW Hooks Insurance. Go to GWHooksInsurance.com. Brooklyn up on the center. Brickle hands it off the right side of Jalen Taylor. Jalen Taylor is met and brought down. And that's going to be a, for a short game right there. And as you see, they're pounding that thing to the left side line right now. Coach Green, is, he's found something on the, right, on the left side of the defense of Greensville County. The right side of his line, he's running behind those big guys on the right side. You got Jordan Travis, you got Joseph Peters on that side. So he's, run, he's running behind his, his horses right now. Yeah, that's what you got to do. I mean, uh, that that weather line is young, but there's some big boys on that line. Yeah, yes, they are. They're, they're space eaters. Yes, it is. They're space eaters right now. So back at it, second and a long. It's like a high formation. Brooklyn hands it off. He runs right into the defender. Yeah, right there. He ran. He ran right into number seventy-four for the Eagles, and that tackle was made by Kyle Carr on the on the tackle. Right Coach D, does, is it me or does it look like the Chargers' lines getting too deep into the secondary of the Eagles' defense, leaving them to get, to get to the to the ball handlers? Well, what, right now they're starting to control the line of scrimmage right now. As you see, they're starting to get a push right now. But they they got they got to make sure they take care of the ends of Greenville County because they're getting up field. Yeah, as you see, they're getting up field right now, able to make those tackles. Able to make those tackles right now. If I'm Coach Grady, I'm still paneling it to that right side of that line of yeah, their line. They're getting up field, but they're also they also got to think that they're outnumbered uh, with a, with a quarterback and three running backs in your backfield. Uh, you, you can't leave a man up behind. So. Brickle, Brickle, and they go right back. They must have heard what I said. Go right back to the right side of the line. Jalen Taylor able to get another deep run right there. So that's going to leave a fourth down right now. It's going to be the end of the fourth quarter, uh, end of the third quarter. Eagles 20, Chargers 8. Uh, we'll be back after this. Big sport new car awaits at Nissan of Roanoke Rapids. Get where you're going with ease and stay connected the whole way. Lease an intelligent 2019 Nissan Altima at only $291 a month with zero down. Nissan of Roanoke Rapids, where we put the customer first. 
You don't have time to get sick and you don't plan on getting hurt. Despite your best efforts, germs are shared and accidents happen, and usually at the worst possible time. But Halifax Works Healthcare Express is here to help. We're open six days a week, Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Saturday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Let us help you get back in the game, back to your family, and back to life. Feel better faster at Halifax Works Healthcare Express. We are back here at the start of the fourth quarter. Greenville 20, Weldon 8. Uh, waiting for the kickoff. Well, it's fourth and fourth and something. So should be fourth down. It's, it should be fourth down. Should be fourth and about three. Three, yeah. So fourth. yeah, they they, had, they hadn't switched sides of the field yet. Uh, they've got it right. And Weldon will set up fourth and three. It looks like they're gonna go for it. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna go. They're gonna go for it right here. Brooke hole. That's right. Brooke hole up, up on the center. And we got oh, some movement right there. That's that gonna be that a, might be a break for the Chargers. It's like on Graham County, like number seventy-four jump. We're gonna see. They're gonna talk about it. It's gonna be on the. Like gonna put, we're gonna see that. They're talking. It was movement on both sides. Now it looks like they're gonna charge on the Chargers. They're getting a little excited. Uh, yeah. I saw 74 move. Uh, it was moving on both sides, actually. They're moving on both sides for Greensville County. So, so the penalty as it regards to Kaleo Carr. The oh, they caught it on, on Greenville. On Carr. That's 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 another big penalty on him. Exactly. Uh, he had a, a, a push in the back. They brought a big 60-yard run back. And now this that gives Weldon uh, first down on, on yeah. fourth down. And, and, and like you said, that, that's going to keep that's going to keep the ball moving right here at the at the start at the start of the at the start of the fourth quarter here at Greenville County High School. So Brickle takes over. Clock still. Clock is getting ready to run as as Brickle up on the center. First down brought to you by TWHooksInsurance.com. Wishbone. He's going for the pass. Brooklyn looking to pass. Ah. Throws a screen is no good. Somebody in Scott was still running. He actually had daylight if they Yeah, it looked like he wasn't even looking for the football. No, he was he was. He was looking at maybe Brooklyn go a little deeper right there. So incomplete pass right there. Eleven fifty six left in the ball game. Guys, I'm gonna give Williams a little bit of credit down here. He has uh, broken his bone some down here. Right there, there was a little swing pass out there in the flat. He's trying to put it in the air some, loosen his defense up and see if he can get a big hit by Samaye Scott. Samaye's got a little bit of speed, so he's trying to get him out in open space to see if he can get a quick, cheap score. Throwing it back up to you guys. Well, it's, it's what we talked about. you got to spread this out a little bit and get them out of that box. So Brooklyn up on the center. Hands hey, he's got some running room. Jalen Taylor able to plow ahead. He's had some big runs in this second half right here. Uh, we got an injured player on the field. Right there. It looks like Anthony Brown down. And this it looks like he's hurt. Yeah, this injury report is brought to you by Halifax Works Express in Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina, as they trot out to the field. Yeah, he's kicking in, in, in excruciating pain. He's hurt. And if, so we'll be back, big sports. your office running is more than just pens, paper, and ink. It's about having what you need when you need it. With over 100,000 items available, Lynch's Office Supply is sure to have what you need. And if it's not already in the store, it's usually available in just one day. That's Lynch's Office Supply in Roanoke Rapids. Hometown service, superstore prices. Hey, this is Steve Burnett with Coffee Center, 10 East 10th Street, Road Raps, North Carolina. Come on by and see us. We've got the miniature helmets for sale now. We've got the NFL Pro helmets. We've got the college helmets. And we've got custom helmets we can do for you. Come by and see us. Get a good deal for your birthdays, Christmas, or just for football season. We're at 10 East 10th Street, Road Rapids, or you can like us on Facebook at Coffee Center, Road Rapids. And we're back to the action. Greensville County up 20 to 8 over the Weldon Chargers. We've got a quick score update. The Runner Rapids Yellow Jackets are up over the Southeast Trojans at halftime, 44 to 7. 
That's a definitely a different run rapids team than we saw last yeah, week. There, yeah, yes it is. Yes it is. And people, if you got the scores, make sure you let us know at Big Sports NC. Let us know what the scores are so we can make sure we put it out there for the viewing public. So back to the action. And Anthony Brown's off off the field under his own power, uh, which is always good to see. Uh, it still looks like he's in some a good bit of pain. Brooklyn up on the center, hands it off to Samaya Scott. He's met and for a short gain and brought down. That tackle was made by number 27. It's going to bring up a fourth and a, a pretty long three with 11.25 here to go in the fourth quarter, and this trailing 20 to 8. And this is second fourth down of this drive. Remember last time they got the penalty on fourth down, able to able to push them ahead. So let's see what Coach Gray is You see him, they able, they're trying to get the ball out and pass the ball a little bit right here. Let's see what he draws up in, in this situation. So 11 minutes, 8 seconds left in the ball game. Chargers looking to get a first down and keep this drive going. Still in the wishbone. Brooklyn up on the center. Brooklyn looks to drop back the pass. Brooklyn has pressure. Oh, he has Brooklyn, oh. and he drops it. He lets it go right through his finger. Right through his finger. He dialed up the perfect play to find Jeff. Lee. And if he catches that, he hits his head on the goal line. Oh, yeah. He's, there's nobody between him and the goal line. So Absolutely four, nobody. So great fourth down play. Unable to convert right here. So the Eagles take over. So the Eagles take over. So back to the action. 10 minutes, 53 seconds left. Greensville County up 20 to 8. And that turnover is brought to you by the copy center of Run Up Rapids, North Carolina. That I formation. So Robinson back up on the center. You got Blue Check back into the ball game for the Eagles as well. Yeah, I like to see I like to see him take off right here and see what and we got movement see how right his there. leg is. Hard right, snap count right there. Mm -hmm. like able to get it. Mm -hmm. Like a slew of charges jumping. Exactly. And look, and like we tell you guys, if you're going to jump, you got to hit somebody. Yes. Uh, you know, you don't, don't, don't hit a gap, gap you hit somebody. somebody. You hit somebody dead in the mouth. Yeah, exactly. So they're going to mark. They're going to. They're going to mark off five yards right here. Bring up a first and five from about the 44. All right, guys. Here we go, 10.53 to go in the game. Chargers turn it over on downs and now jump offside. Um, they played a valiant game, but there's no such thing as close except for hand grenades and horseshoes. you got to figure out a way to pull this out, so they got to work hard and see if they can get something going right here. So Robinson has it, hands it off to Blue. Blue's looking for some running room. He's still oh, going. Hey, and he has a first down. Has a first down. Like you said, every run he has is basically a first down. He, run, he, he runs hard. He runs hard. You can tell he's that bell guy. And the thing that I'm looking at, this kid is only a sophomore. So the, the future is bright. The future is bright. If, if you look down this list, they have a slew of young young talent. Exactly. Um, it's just, I know, I know they're going to lose Eric Robinson this year. Uh, so somebody will have to step up as a quarterback, but I see Greenville being pretty special here soon. So Robinson up on the center, drop back for the pass, drop back the pass. Oh, trying to find Peebles, unable to get to him right there. You can see they try to find Peebles at any chance they can get right there. So incomplete pass right there. That's gonna make a second down. Ten minutes, thirty seconds left in the ball game. I want to thank a couple of our sponsors. I want to thank Future of Pharmacy in Jackson, Littleton, and Rick Square, Rod Rodney Majette of r &P Enterprise of Rick Square, and Miss Barbara Key of K and K Home Health Care in Garrisburg, North Carolina. Just want to thank those people for making it possible for Big Sports to be here and and let you guys hear the action. But so, coach, and and I like the way that Green was switching up the. The plays, but at this late in the ball game, you have to you have to keep the ball on the ground, and let that clock continue to roll. Exactly, you can't you can't stop the clock and get a charge of the chance. Exactly, and there and there, as you see with the run with, the run with blue right here, you can hit the coaches up there. Hold on to the ball, hold on to the ball, just keep going, and that clock is going. Well, that's right. Even even as even as weak as that run looked, that's eight yards on a simple simple handoff. Yeah, and like you said, the. The stripes down there, they're cranking that arm like they're about to wind up slow pitch softball <laughs> right now. So they're trying to get this clock going. And I don't I don't know exactly what the stats are, but I guess that Green was gaining over five yards of play on the ground. Exactly. I, I maybe more than that, so now I'm just I'm just guessing. So Robinson up on the center. Oh, we and got another, some movement. And we got some movement right there. You saw Stewart move right there. You saw Joe Peterson move at the nose right there. Just kinda kinda 
undis kind of undisciplined football right now. Bring up another first down for the Eagles. And once again, the clock stops, but Greenville County is moving forward, moving forward to their end zone right now. Mm -hmm. So first down for Greensville County. That first down is brought in by GW Hucks Insurance. Make sure you go to GWHucksInsurance.com for open enrollment October 15th to the 7th. Learn more at GWHucksInsurance.com right here. And we talked about it. You see the kind of the hands on the hips, the heads down right now. So you start to see Greensville County trying to kind of almost suck the life out of the Chargers right now. Well, I think they're watching the clock right now too, and they're, they're kind of feeling defeated, but. Again, you got ten minutes to go. You still, you still hit somebody. Go, 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 go. So blue, blue to the outside. Blue's looking for some run He runs out of bounds right there. And he, he, he be right. He has a first down. Guess what? Another first down. Another first down. He runs out of bounds. But guess what? And I gotta say, he got to be well over hundred yards for the night. Well, then you got to. It's gonna look gonna be some unsportsmanlike right. going on right here. And, 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 and that's and that's the thing. We we don't want that. And that's Je that's Jeffrey Whitaker right there. That's Jeffrey Whitaker right there. And that's a flag. That's a flag. He may be. He may be the game that's a flat you can't you can't have that i don't i don't care what sport it is the unsportsman and that's gonna that's gonna be that's, gonna be, that's a big 15 yard penalty that's a very 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 big penalty right there tacked on to all an already huge run so joe i believe that was it might have been on joe peterson so joe, joseph peterson checks out of the ball game right now and then you got number 11 for the Chargers checking in samaj harris checks into the ball game for the Chargers. So nine minutes, 48 seconds left in the ball game. Brings them kind of looking to punch another one in the end zone and send the Chargers back down 95 with a loss, their first loss of the season right here. I just want to thank a couple of more of our sponsors too. I want to thank Nissan and Ronald Rapids. I want to thank White Motors. Just thank everybody that helps contribute to Big Sports and make sure you tune in to Big Sports every Friday night for our high school game of the week. Because guess what? Guess what we'll be at Friday night? I believe we'll be back in Runner Rapids. Well, actually, we'll be in Weldon. That's right. And we'll Weldon, be in Weldon. Weldon, Weldon Runner Rapids. Weldon and Runner Rapids. Char Run Run Weldon Chargers and the Runner Rapids Yellow Jackets will be playing in, in Weldon. We'll be there. We'll get to see the Chargers again as Runner Rapids is getting a bounce back win after a tough loss uh, Monday night against Northampton. And, you know, basically two two different games. We saw a Friday night game and a Monday night game. Right, right, definitely, there. definitely, Runner Rapids looked a, a lot different on Monday night than they looked Friday night. Yeah, and 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 that's the thing, you know, they, they, like we saw the score, they were up 40, 40, 40, 40 eight right there. And we're gonna we're gonna check and make sure we get our other scores and people. Make sure you continue, like I said, continue to support big sports and all and all all that we do and all that we do right now. And I got a, I got another hey guys. I'm trying to figure out who it is. I thought like you did that the flag was on Jeffrey Whitaker. But then Joe Wilson came over to the side and took his helmet off and uh, sat on the bench. So the uh, officials are huddled around Coach Williams. So we're trying to figure out what's going on. All right, and if I figure out something, I'll throw it back up to you. I'll let you know. Thanks, Coach Stewart. We got a couple of score updates. We got the Runnick Rapids Yellow Jackets are up 51-7 to over the South over the Southeast Trojans. And also, too, the Kip Pride Panthers are down 20 to 21 in the fourth quarter against Lakewood. So we'll make sure. And that, that's a big game because the Kip Pride did not get to finish their game as well against Lewisburg. So we're still trying to we're still trying to get an update on Northwest. So people let us know. People let us know they're down there. East Columbus, they're almost in South Carolina. They took a long three hour ride for a ball game, people. Three hour ride for a ball game. Huh? As as J Bell is saying, Lake Wakama. That's a long way. Have you ever been to Lake Wakama? I have not. It sounds like it sounds like a, a, a bad foot problem <laughs> or something like that. It sounds like an episode of uh, uh, River Monsters or. <laughs> but a, so we're still finding Bigfoot. <laughs> so we're, 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 we're still here. It's nine minutes, forty-eight seconds left in the ball game. Twenty to eight. The Chargers are down against Greensville County Eagles. And shout out, shout out to all the people here at Greensville County House High School for supporting us. For yeah, yeah, Coach Allen is well. Thank him for hosting us here. Her, I'm sorry, her. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Coach. Uh, I'm just I'm trying to pay attention to what's going on on the sidelines over here. Um, they're they're talking to both coaches. I think they're trying to settle stuff down. Um, as the Eagles lead it 20 to eight with 9.48 to go here in the fourth quarter. Um,
still waiting for some calls on the with the with the co, uh, with the referees right here. And and for, and for all the Greensville County people, Greensville County will be playing against Nottaway High School next Friday night. They'll be traveling up there. So so for all the Greensville County people, make sure you support. This is a great team right here. They got some great players right here. So looking forward to maybe checking these guys out in the future right here. So as the stripes are finally got together, they decided where they're gonna eat it. After the game, they probably go to I well IHOP. IHOP probably closed. Well, well maybe the Huddle House. See, coach, and next week we we will go be going that away, not not away. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the action. Robinson up on the center. Our formation. Hands off, off the blue. Blue has some running room. He, Stiff he, arm. I think he's going. Touchdown. 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 And he laid the boom. The yeah. Trey Austin right there. I, I, I think it's off. safe to say he's definitely the player of the game. Here. Yeah, he's definitely. He's, he's, that was a tremendous run right there by, by Kendall Blue. And so, guys, some clarification on what happened right there in the penalty. Not sure why it wasn't both ways, but. Uh, what we had um, was an unsportsmanlike conduct on Jeffrey Whitaker uh, for something that he said. So there was uh, there were no uh, ejections down here. So you know, at this point, you just want to get out of here clean and uh, healthy and uh, fight another day. Two point conversion is good. Uh, uh, um, and that's a big, a big blow to the Chargers. Yeah, right there. So. So now, now the score is 28 to the Greenville County. Eagles looking to put away the well to Chargers. 940 left in the ball game. And we'll take a break and be back. Big sports. Hey, it's Jennifer Lynch at White Motors inviting everyone out Saturday, August the 31st from 1030 to 230 to our Customer Appreciation Day. We're going to give away free hot dogs, chips, and drinks. We're going to have some free door prizes as well as registration for a free Yeti cooler. I'm going to have the end of my shoe drive for kids um, back to school shoe drive ages kindergarten through 12th. Also doing a 50-50 raffle to benefit the Boys and Girls Club of Vernon Rapids. So we look forward to seeing everyone here. Hi, I'm Connie at GW Huxton Company and I'm here to remind you about open enrollment for Medicare plans which is October 15th through December 7th. If you're satisfied with your plan, you don't need to make any changes. But if you have any questions or concerns, we're here to help. So please contact us at GW Huxon Company. GW Huxon Company! And we're back in... Weldon muffs the kickoff and recovered by the Eagles. That that hurts. Yeah, that that, that hurts right now. And get and and and, co and coach is leaving the starters in the ball game. There and the blue is still in the ball game. So this could this could this could be this could be something. He could be well over 200 yards for us. Well, we got another injured uh, eagle on the play right here. Yeah, we got an injury on the play. Can't tell who it is. With a, it's a crowd around him. Yeah, that's going to be brought to you by. Halifax Work Express in Run of Rapids, North Carolina. And it looks like another cramp, Coach. Do uh, you think they're going to talk to them a lot about this this, this week, about being hydrated? Yeah, I mean, being hydrated these, guys, these guys are coming off summer vacation, too. Well, I think they're still on vacation. I don't think they start by school till Tuesday here in, in Virginia. But at the same time, I mean, you've been practicing for the latter part of at least a month, month and a half. Um, that's That's got to be at least the fifth. Uh, cramp that we've seen tonight, and it's not a good feeling. No, it's not. So as the as the two sidelines sidelines get together, so what's your assessment of the whole football game so far, Aaron? Um, my assessment is it's, it's really tough to say because I mean, until the last five minutes, it's really been a neck and neck ball game. Uh, it was twenty to eight. Um, Weldon has thrown the momentum. Uh, and then it's a, a costly turnover down here. Then they just turned the ball over again. And it blue has really been the difference in this ball game. Well, I'm going to say this as far as the Chargers. And they, they need to get it together. 
The reason why I say that because they're coming against a run graphics team that's going to be full of confidence, that's going to travel over the county road. You you've shown some flashes in the past game, able to broker, able to uh, throw, but you got to you got to show up some things offensively. You you know you can't just run run run. You got to be able to open open up the passing game. You got to be able to open it up because that's the thing that we've seen from the Chargers the past couple of years covering this team as we do their games. They can run run run, but can you put and defending the pass, defending the pass because that 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 catch the peoples right there. He went right down the same the untouched untouched and also too the running game too if they see they have an elusive back they you can see they're kind of they're kind of gashing them gashing these guys right now so not break, sure what's going on right here so breaking the action right here as we as we see as we see as we see what's going on right now and we yeah, we got a player. Yeah, we got right now. Right now, we see the player. He's taking his pants off right now. He's he's down here. I believe he's with his with uh, some of the staffies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're gonna matter of fact, we're gonna right now. We're gonna take a break and we'll be back. Big sports. For some football, let our friends at Ren Sports Graphics and Screen Printing design and print your next team's logo. Do you have a 10, 20, or 30-year high school class reunion coming up? Or maybe your church, civic organization, or business needs t-shirts. Contact Randy Wren at Ren Sports Graphics and Screen Printing. Located on 10 East 11th Street, Roanoke Rapids. And you can find them on Facebook. Or call 252-673-5491. Hello everyone, I'm Joffrey coming to you live from White Motors in Runner Graphics. I'd like to thank all y'all for your support for coming out here in your vehicle selection and purchases. You have a great sale going on. No money down, no payment for a month and a half. I'd like to thank all y'all and encourage you to come out here and see me, Joffrey Sharon at White Motors. I also I'm a big sports fan. I'm a charger, so I like to say go chargers, charge on on your big game on Friday. So back to the action right here. A little pause and play as one of the Greensville County players went down. Um, looks like everything's going to be all right. So nine minutes, 36 seconds left in the ball game. Greensville County up 28-8. to eight. And just a reminder, our high school game of the week next Friday night, the Runner Rapids Yellow Jackets travel over. Isaiah Robinson, David Taylor, and those guys travel over the county road that face off against these Weldon Chargers. So Robinson back up on the center. Robinson. Robinson back up on the center. Robinson looking to pass. The ball. He's in the Peebles. Peebles has running room. Peebles nice still going. Three. Peebles still. The number seven. They ain't, he's still going ahead. Still Unable to be brought down. Four charges to take him down. And that's going to be a first down for Greensville County. That first down is brought to you by GW Hux Insurance. And guess what? They're in the red zone. And that red zone was brought to you by White Motors of Runner Graphics, White Motors, Inc., with my Chevy Rewards, you can earn and redeem points to pay for services to keep you moving forward for less at our Chevy Certified Service Dealership. And that clock is going to keep running as the time is starting to wind down for the welding charges here tonight. Yeah, winding down to about nine minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Um, and so there goes Blue again. Blue again. Blue again. Blue again. Blue again. Touchdown. Blue right there. Touchdown, Kendall Blue for the Greensville County Eagles. Yeah, this 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 game has been blown wide open. Yeah, it's just a, just different different quarters. You know, the first quarter is Greensville County, Weldon County made the charge. The second quarter, then this th this second half has been all Greensville County. So Robinson back up on the center for the two point conversion. Blue checks out. And Harris checks in, tosses to Harris to the sweep. He's looking for running room. He gets it. And he walks in the end zone. Two point conversion. Blue making the score 20, 36 to 8. 36 to 8 right there. Greensville County up over the well Chargers. And we'll take a break and we'll be back. Big sports. Keeping your office running is more than just pens, paper, and ink. It's about having what you need when you need it. With over 100,000 items available, Lynch's Office Supply is sure to have what you need. And if it's not already in the store, it's usually available in just one day. That's Lynch's Office Supply in Roanoke Rapids. Hometown service, superstore prices. 
Hey, this is Steve Burnett with Coffee Center, 10 East 10th Street, Road Wraps, North Carolina. Come on by and see us. We've got the miniature helmets for sale now. We've got the NFL Pro helmets. We've got the college helmets. And we've got custom helmets we can do for you. Come by and see us. Get a good deal for your birthdays, Christmas, or just for football season. We're at 10 East 10th Street, Road Wraps. Or you can like us on Facebook at Copy Center of Road Wraps. And we're, and we're back to the action right there. Greensville County up 36 to 8 in the battle of the border right now. And it looks like the Virginia side is winning right now pretty handily, Aaron. Yeah, they definitely have took control of this ball game in the last, I'd say, 10 minutes of this ball game. And the ball is it. And, and it's another turnover. Another, another, I, another I, I turn. think, I think uh, the Chargers fell on top of it. Yeah, the Chargers, they dodged the bullet right there. And they kicked it right right to number 56, Jordan Travis. And he was just standing reaching. But that's what happened when you had the big guys on that front line. That's right. You got to, At some point, you're going to have to put some hand stains in there, especially when they've kicked it short every all night long. So, so, so we're... So we're still here. Nine minutes left in the ball game, and the, and the thing, and now and now I gotta go to coach mode now, because I'm looking at the I'm looking at the body language of the Chargers, and now I'm getting to them because we're still playing ball. I regardless of what the score is, you still have nine minutes to play in this ball game. And see, that's what that's what it goes back to coaching on the sideline. Well, that's right, coaching is if your guys have already lost, I'm gonna put somebody in the ball game who wants to play, who wants to play, who wants to give you 100, who still who still treats this ball game like it's an eight nothing ball game. Exactly. So Brickle back up on the center, wing formation. Brickle screen pass. The oh, Kanye, got, Davis, got some, Kanye got some Davis has room. running room. Oh, he's he should have slid. And he, if he wanted to stop, coach, I think he could have. Yeah. got a little more yards. But that was also that was a great open field tackle right there by Rozell Kendrick for the Greensville County Eagles right there. But like like we were saying, you, you got to still play regardless of what sport it is. You got to continue to play. You, you, you gotta, never give up. You never give up. And see that's and but you know what? That's a society thing that that we can get into another day. That I, I won't get on air about it right now, but just just the just the body language of the Chargers. You gotta still keep fighting. Maybe that's a four down with Coach D yes, topic. Yeah, yeah woo, yes, we will. Good job, good job, Aaron. Good job, Aaron. So, so back 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 to the action. Brickle up on the center. Brickle hands it off inside handoff for a short game right there. Well, and it goes back to somebody. Somebody has to take initiative and be a leader, coach. It doesn't matter if you're a senior. It doesn't matter if you're a freshman. You got to go slap your guys in the helmet and say, "Hey, guys, you know we still got a long season ahead of us. We've only played a game and a half. Uh, we still, we're still, we're still growing. We still, we can still win a conference, and we can still make a, a great season out of this." Exactly. Exactly. And and another thing too, they, they realize, realizing too that the conference play is right around the corner. And everything is still in front of them right now. That's right. And I mean, and, and, and in the surrounding area, conferences really aren't going to be that stout. So anybody can really step up and, and, and win any given week. Exactly. So right there, that's a first down. And it's a flag on the play. That's a flag. On, yeah, that's a flag on the play. I, right think it's, I think that may go on so, Greenville so for a late hit. So that's, that's going to be first down. Waiting Coach, on the flag. Waiting to see exactly what it is. D the sticks are moving. The Chargers sidelines moving. So I'm I'm thinking that's going to be called, called on the Eagles. Yeah, that's going. To, yeah, that's going to be an Eagles right there. So this personal be a, foul, uh, exactly. So that's going to be a Charger first down, and that first down is brought to you by GWHuxInsurance.com. Make sure you they check in for open enrollment. Medicare plan starts October 15th through December 7th. Learn more at GWHuxInsurance.com. Guys, uh, I'm still down here. Fell asleep for a little while with all the delays and stoppages. Uh, Chargers on the move. Uh, they have to to build on this now. The win is probably out of hands, but at this point, you need to go ahead and finish strong and get ready for next week. Well, Coach Stewart, can you hear us? So Guess back, not. so back back to the action right there. Brickle Brickle has the inside handoff right there. But as as Coach Stewart just said, it's exactly what me and you talked about. You know, they have to build off of this going into next week against Runner Rapids because. Ruddock Rapids has stepped in this week and got a ton of momentum going into next week. Exactly. Already scoring 44 points in, in less than three quarters. Yeah. Um, so they, they, they're they going to roll into Weldon next week on, on the battle of uh, 95. And, I mean, Weldon has to go in with the same mentality. 
And I'm, I'm glad you said that because you just gave the battle a 95 right there. I like that. I like that, Aaron. I need to put that on social media. Appreciate that. Just just give me credit for it. <laughs> yes, I will. I will. <laughs> so, <laughs> Brooklyn up on the center. Brooklyn hands the ball off. They can put back. Austin. Austin looking for the Austin. Austin has got some pay dirt. Austin still going. Touchdown, Austin Chargers. Oh, he might be down to short. one. He's short. Great aggressive run. Oh, he's down right on the goal line. Right at the goal line. And that was number five, Navaria Austin. And guess what? He's a freshman. He's a freshman. When it goes, again, it goes back to what we talked about. Exactly. Somebody has to step up, whether it's a senior, whether it's a freshman, uh, whether you've played football for 10 years or whether you play football for 40 minutes like some of these guys have. And they gave him the score. Did they give it to him? Yeah, they, they put points on the board. Oh, I they? thought he was short. I thought I thought he was in, but then he it looked like he was standing on the goal line. So, so Brickle, Brickle hands it off back to Austin. And the two point conversion's good. And Austin walks it in for the Chargers right there. And not only puts the Chargers down by twenty, three scores, a couple on size kicks right here. You're right back in the ball game. You and I both know that it's probably highly unlikely, but so. Austin, guys, is the home run hitter that the Chargers have. He's faster than anybody on this team. Even though he's a freshman, you got to teach him, you got to grow him, you got to get him ready. But he is the guy that has the ability to go the distance for you. So the Chargers have to really get him going. Otherwise, you are a five yard offense. Um, but he's the guy who can make something happen. And it's good to see some life over here and not fold him. Uh, so even though it's a 20-point game right here, you still have a little bit of life, and you still got 6:43 to go. So let's see what happens. Yes, and that sideline report right there was brought to you by the principal of Weldon Middle School, the Junior Chargers, Coach Andre Stewart, a man of many hats: baseball, football, basketball, field hockey coach, every kind of coach he is, volleyball, all, all of it. All of it, the, the the lacrosse team, he coached that too. And Coach D, he says Navion Austin is the fastest kid on that charter team, but I will take Ransom against him any day of the week. I tell you what, Ransom has been in on every defensive. He's been on. He's he's had a lot of tackles, a lot of tackles. Now he's played well. He's played real. And and Ransom, if I'm not mistaken, Ransom is a sophomore, so it's a young talent on that Weldon Charger team. Yeah, that's what I say. I mean. It's it's definitely they definitely have some and Greensville County has some running room. We got Harris. Harris has looked Harris is going. He's still going. And he had a huge hit. And that was a touchdown saving by who? Ransom. Who? Ransom. Ransom. That guy, he comes out of everywhere. Ransom is Ransom and Stewart right there. And that kickoff right there was brought to you by Givens Insurance, your nationwide insurance. Ransom was on his sideline, comes across the field, and makes a touchdown saving play. Aaron, I'm going to concede that to you. Ransom may be the fastest man on the team. <laughs> I'd like to see him in uh, uh, Austin in the foot race, but Ransom's a blur out here. That was outstanding right there. Yeah, that kid, I, I definitely, definitely like this kid. Yeah, yeah, he's young. He's been out there the whole night, so. So kudos, kudos to Ransom, kudos to Austin too for having a having a big run right there. But Greensville County back at it, back at it. Look, at maybe they can, maybe they can can they can they crack the end zone again? Uh, I don't know that they'll try because they got some different personnel in here. You got a new quarterback in the game. Jaden White is that quarterback. Jaden White tosses it to Harris. Harris oh, falls down. down. Harris, Harris saw the end zone. Yep, he saw the end zone right there. So Robinson night ends right there. Robinson's had a great night. For the Eagles. Well, and Harris is only a sophomore, also, so he's he's probably finally seen the big dance after playing behind some big time runners here at, at, in Greenville. Um, so he's seeing some playing time, and yeah, this is he was looking to make a statement for himself right there. Yeah, and Jaden White is a freshman, freshman. So he's getting he's getting a central a central. Well, and this is good for him because he's probably going to be the Greenville Eagles uh, quarterback next year, considering that uh, Robinson Robinson is is a senior. So inside handoff to the fullback number forty-one. That's uh, Ladias Thornhill and Joseph Peterson uh, back in the ball game uh, for the tackle. So we, we got, got a timeout on the play. Yeah, we got a break in the action right here. 
And guess what? We're gonna stick. We're gonna stick right here. Six minutes left in st- mm-hmm. six minutes left in the ball game. And want to thank want to thank Nissan and Runner Graphics Play and Power with safety innovation. Come see the all new 2020 Nissan Rogue Sport at your local Nissan dealership. Because of them, Big Sports is able to bring you the high school game of the week each week on BigSportsNC.com. I want to pose a question. I want to pose a question. Popeyes or Chick Fil A chicken sandwich? Man, that's not even a question. <laughs> <laughs> is that even a question? That's that's been that's been the hot topic in every. I hear season. I hear Popeyes and I hear Chick Fil A, but nobody says nothing about Zaxby's. Exactly. You got to throw that in there too. I yes. mean, you know, let's 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 get a blind another coach uh, for that one coach. Yeah, yeah, we should do that. Look, we need to kick we, that. We need to kick that to Coach Stewart. Coach, coach Stewart, what do you think about that? Oh, about he, that? He, I don't think he hears us, but maybe Jay can relay it to him. We'll we'll get a blind we'll get a blind the best pick. chicken sandwich best chicken sandwich ever. Zaxby's nope Chick Fil A nope and Popeyes nope. and we'll see Mm-mm. who picks which sandwich no sir the best chicken sandwich was the one my grandmother made when we were children the one she fried put on a piece of bread when we went on the road that frozen stuff don't count Jay no I'm talking about back Fry, in the- <laughs> fried in the deep pan people yes, yes. We, have, we have gone full we have gone the air full. fryer we going with the Crisco oil <laughs> so back to the accident <laughs> Jay White up for the center. <laughs> He looks to roll out, looks to pass, looks to find people's unable to get them right there. And coach, what this does is that stops the clock with four, with fourth down. Um, well, they can get some more momentum here if they can stop them well, and possibly get um, another score. Guys, it's it's gotten bad when y'all are debating chicken sandwiches out oh. there. But um, I'm with Jay. Uh, I can make a better chicken sandwich than both of them. Um, so I'm not standing in line for 45 minutes to debate a chicken sandwich with y'all. And I've been fat all my life. So, you know, take my word for it. <laughs> and there you, there you have it. And we're giving, hey, look, matter of fact, too, hey, look, go to Big Sports and let us know what you think. Let yeah, us know what yeah, you think. Bro, we want to try to. Hey, hey, Jay, look, put hey, up a, maybe we can get Jay to put up a, 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 a poll. A poll. So Jaden White up on the center. He looks. Maybe we can get one of them to be a sponsor for Big Sports. He's looking for running room. He takes off. He has some running room. White gets it, and he steps out of bounds, and he's close to a first down. He's right at the first. That's a first down right there. I think you're going to have to. I want a measurement. I believe he's, that's a if first If I'm well, down. I want a measurement. No, he's at that marker. The, the, no, he's just a little short. No, that's the first down. So first down for the Eagles on the touchdown run. On the first down run, it, that first down is brought to you by GW Hucks Insurance. Yeah, shout out to Church's Chicken too. By the way, do they? Uh, we used to eat that going to Richmond. Well, you might want well to get some Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. So we got we got a flag, we got a flag on the play. Five minutes, forty two seconds left in the ball game. Thirty six sixteen. The Greenville County Eagles looking to put the Charters away and send them down ninety five. Send them down ninety five. They'll probably go down three zero. They'll go on three one. But if I'm mad, I'm going down that. I just take the bus down 95 and let it hop all the way there. 45 miles an hour. 45 miles no, an hour. No air condition. No, 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 the only air conditioning you got is the window. Make, make them all get on one bus. What? Yeah, exactly, one bus. Share what? a seat. I don't care how many seats is open. You share exactly. a seat with somebody. And the way the defense is playing, some of them might end up walking. Yeah, that's right. So, be, it'd be like, uh, be like, um, what was that movie? Um, God, what was the movie that they filmed in Virginia? Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans. Make them run down the street. So we we got a run right there. We got a new running back into the ball game. Number 23, Aquarian Garrett for the Eagles. Shout out to the Weldon cheerleaders, Miss Pat, over there with the cheerleaders. They, they travel hard. They come over here and cheer their charges on. When, and Gary is also a defensive back for the hey, Eagles. And hey, like you said, you're getting Robinson. You're getting Robinson rest. Blue's gotten some rest now. Harris is still in the, I believe Harris has came out of the ball. Well, you're also giving guys opportunities who, exactly. who's going to see a lot of field next year. Exactly. You know, these are games that you can get guys into the game and, and get them a little field action and let them see what it's like, get the kinks out. Because uh, you'd much rather them get it out now when it doesn't matter than next year when you are the guy. And look, look who's on the play again. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Out of bounds right there. And Ransom. Flying to the ball. I believe you, you found a new favorite player right now. I might want his autograph after the game. If Coach Stewart can hear us, I need that autograph. <laughs> so the it's, clock stops right there. This has been a long fourth quarter right here. He's the run up Valley, Deion Sanders. Who is? 
Oh, 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 oh ransom. ransom. Oh, that's high. That's high praise right there. I just I, like the way. I just like the way he goes all out every play. You know, I, I look for that. It doesn't matter. FSU, Deion Sanders. Well, I tell you what, I like Kendall Blue. He's he's a phenomenal. He's one I like the, I like Blue as well. Yeah, he's one of the better backs I've seen in the past couple of years. I, I like Blue I, as I like, well. I like, just, I like his game. It's it's something about a kid with heart. I don't care. I don't care how good you are. If you if you give me heart every play, no matter what, I, I'm a fan. So we got a flag on the play. That might be against Greenville County. Look. So as we see see what the play is. Five minutes twenty eight seconds left in the ball game. Eagles up thirty six to sixteen. Over the Weldon Chargers. That yeah, that's on Weldon. That's going to be on. Encroachment. That's going to be on the Chargers. And I said, could, could the Eagles punch another one in? Well, so, how much, how much confidence could you give your young guys yeah, yeah. if they can punch it in right here? And and you and think about it, they still have their first team a defense in on in the ball. Game. That's right. So this and, and, and they're moving the football on this on this first team. Yeah. That, so this 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 is a measuring stick for these guys. These guys can say, Hey, I can play. I can yeah, play. I mean, Jaden White on Tuesday morning is going to go to the school with his head held high saying, hey, guess what? I played against a varsity and, and took my team down the field, and I'm going to do it again next year. And Gray's going, he's going to be stopped right here. going to be stopped right here. And that clock is steady running. we got a little action going on down there between Gray and number 21. you got you got Mr. Denias Bradley. They're talking a little bit right now. They're talking a little well, bit. Well, and, and up 20, you, you tend to talk a little more when you're down by 20, but it's it's, it's no place for that. Yeah, I mean, not, just play the game. Yeah, just play the game. Just enjoy game. it. And, you know, because for these seniors, these are their last go-around. This is their last go-around. These are some of the last snaps they'll play the rest of their life. I don't know about you, Coach D, but I would get anything to lace up my shoes one more time. I would, too, but my knee, my knees will not well, allow I, I'm saying as a, oh, yeah, oh, as yeah. a high schooler, not oh, yeah. now. And we got a fumble on the play. It looked like uh, Chargers are on it. Yeah, and that was Joseph Peterson on his second fumble recovery of the, of the game right there. So, turnover right there for the Eagles. Eagles Chargers, Chargers take over. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in the ball game. Want to thank want to thank the center, center of Energy Education. It's all about clean energy, clean earth, and healthy living. Also, too, want to thank Lynch's Office Supply of Ronald Graphics, hometown services at Superstore Prices. And that turnover was brought to you by the Copy Center of Ronald Rapids. Make sure you stop by and check out Steve Burnett and his great son, Mr. Ryan Burnett. My man, Ryan, the man of many hats, the Tennessee Titan fan. Well, let's not forget my man, A.J., who's there That's when right. he's not in school. That's right. Shout out to A.J. Strickland, too, by the way. So, Brooke back up on the center. He's looking to roll out. He's oh, got a nice deep. pass. Deep to Kanye Davis. He's he got a catch. He's got Kanye Davis to the 40. He's going to the house. To the 30. To the 20. To the 10. 5. Touchdown. Hey, that's an 80 yard pass and catch right there, coach. Well, the may have just found something right there. And to Kanye Davis. Kanye Davis with the touchdown score. No, no relation to Kanye West. No relation to Kanye West, but Kanye Davis, my guy. My. My all-conference second baseman right there, Kanye Davis. He's a speedster, and he got open, and Brooklyn found him. Touchdown. That was a great pass, too, Coach. Hey, guys. Um, I think Coach Williams heard you through that thing, through that deep ball. My goodness. And all of a sudden, this is an interesting little game, guys. It's only 4-16 left, but the Chargers are still fighting. Good stuff right here. Well, and it's like we talked about. I mean, it's, it's, they're trying to lead. I mean, maybe they won't come out of this game with a victory, but going into next week, you got a little bit of conference. I mean, confidence. Um, not only with your, your your defense, but your your ability to throw the ball in the air. Exactly. And that was a great pass by Brooke right there. And we're looking to see if did he get did Brooke will get in on the quarterback sneak. Sneak no good. So scored now 36 22. Four minutes, 16 seconds left in the ball game. Still on down two possessions, though. Only two possessions. So anything is crazy to happen. Anything is anything can happen right now. And we've been, and, and for the people that's watched big sports, especially last year, we've been a part of some crazy games. We've seen two scores go away in two minutes. We've been a part of some crazy games. So this game is not over by the stretch. Now, I got a question for the coach. Do you bring back Robinson? Do you bring back Robinson in blue? It doesn't look like he is, uh, but I, at some point you got to say, "Hey, we got to bring our starters back in. We got to kill this clock. We got to get out of here with a clean victory." Um, and for Weldon, you still got to go smash my football. 
And 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 the thing is, I think you bring your young guys back in, try to run, try to keep continue to run that clock. But if you if anything crazy or turnover, anything happens, then if the Chargers get the ball back, then you got to kind of ramp it back up right here. Okay. So look for the onside kick right now, right here by Stewart, and see if his hand, the hands team is on right now. Well, see it looks he, like because there's a lot of small guys on the football field. Yeah. So. Well, and also, coach, it's 36 to 22, but this game is a lot closer than what the scoreboard says. Yes, it is. It's 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 a lot closer. I mean, I know that it was thirty six to eight at one point, but this ball game is a lot closer than thirty six to eight. It's it's a matter of less than five plays is a difference in this ball game. And the thing we said, we just wanted to see the fight in the Chargers. Don't put your head down. And That's they, right. And, they, and they, we have. So, we kick right there, and they're looking to fall. And Greensville County falls on it right. Yeah, he he kicked it the way he wanted him to. So we got a we got a final. The Runner Rapids Yellow Jackets win 54 to seven over the Southeast Trojans, and Lakewood wins 21 to 20 over the Kip Pride Panthers. So there you have it. You got two scores from the Roanoke Valley area, and also to Rocky Mount Prep. They go down as well, 46 to 12. And if people Northampton County is playing tonight, they're playing Passamaquoddy County. So interested to see what that's going on. That's and that's their home game too. We got a chance to see them twice in three days the other day. So, and a lot of talent over there in, in Northampton. Um, not only at Kip, but Northampton uh, Jaguars also some some talent. So Robinson checks back into the ball game and hands it off to Blue, and Blue's running. And another big seven yard run. As he's done all night long. And, co and coach is not playing the game. He putting his starters back and say, hey, that's enough for the young guys right here. Uh, Let's keep playing. And, again, I'm not sure about stats, but I, I'd be willing to bet it blew close to 200 yards, all, yeah, per he, all purpose yards. And think about it. He had two long runs negated by penalties. He uh, could yeah. be, this could be a 300-yard night for him. And, and three touchdowns. Yeah. So. Could be more if, if those calls wouldn't have came back. So 345 left in the ball game. Robinson Eagles, up on the center. Eagles 36-22. Hands it over to Blue. Blue has some running runs. Looks to the outside. Runs straight at him. He's staying inbound. Still going. And he's brought down short of a first down. It's going to be real close. About a yard short. About a yard short. But the thing is, that clock is. And guess who's on the play again? And we got an injured player right there. That's Andre Stewart Jr. laying down. And it's brought to you by Halifax Works Healthcare Express. And he gets up. He gets up on his own power. Well, Ransom's a little gimp too. Yeah, these guys. These guys are playing both. A lot of these guys are playing. And both. we got a hold on the Eagles. A hold on the Eagles. So that's gonna bring it. It stops the clock as well. Stops the clock. Uh, it brings up the second and fifteen. Um, Stewart's got to come off for a play. Yeah, he has to come off for a play. And kudos to him because he's playing both ways right now. Playing but as are a lot of these guys. Yeah, a lot of these guys. So checking into the ball game is number forty-two, Mister. Jamar Jamarion and Dino and Dino has checked into the ball game. <laughs> yes, IG name girls love Dino. So Rob's it up on the center. I think he meant the dog from the Flintstones. <laughs> so, uh, so we have a we have a stop. Oh, we, we got have a timeout. We got a timeout by Greenville here. We got a timeout by Greenville here. Three minutes twenty seconds left in the ball game. Greenville County looking to put it away and go home. With a big win tonight over the Weldon Chargers. And we'll take a break and we'll be back. Big Sports NC. Your new car awaits at Nissan of Roanoke Rapids. Get where you're going with ease and stay connected the whole way. Lease an intelligent 2019 Nissan Altima at only $291 a month with zero down. Nissan of Roanoke Rapids, where we put the customer first. You don't have time to get sick and you don't plan on getting hurt. Despite your best efforts, germs are shared, and accidents happen, and usually at the worst possible time. But Halifax Works Healthcare Express is here to help. We're open six days a week, Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Saturday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Let us help you get back in the game, back to your family, and back to life. Feel better faster at Halifax Works Healthcare Express. Them. And we're back to the action out of the timeout. 3 20 left in the ball game. Robinson up on the center. Robinson takes a snap, hands it off the left side. Blue, Blue's looking for some running room. Uh, he's, he's going to the 40. He's to the 30. He's to the 20. 
Cuts back in. He's still going. And he's down inside the 10 yard line. And guess who comes out of nowhere again Ransom. and makes the play. Ransom once again with the play right there. That's a first down brought to you. He runs all the way from the left side of the field and and makes that game. I mean, because right, I mean, uh, he's cutting back. Blue's cutting back, and he might get around because he's got he's got him all curled up, and he comes out of nowhere and slaps him down for another tackle. He's got to have over a dozen tackles in this ball game. So first down brought to you by GW Hux Insurance, and they're in the red zone, and that's brought to you by White Motors Inc. of Roanoke Rapids, and and, and Blue. Blue's looking like he's sucking for air a little bit right there. He's, he's tired, but the key thing, he stayed in the ball game. He stayed inside, inside the line. So that clock. Well, he didn't ask him to come out. I like that heart. So he's, um, he's looking. To, he's looking to pad his stats up. So, Rob, Robinson hands it off. Blue cuts back in. Blue walks in the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown for Greensville. And if, and if my calculations are right, Coach, I believe that's touchdown number four for him. Yeah, I, be, I believe so too. I believe that's touchdown number four right there for the Greensville County Eagles. So, so as it looks like he's talking, well, but I don't hear anything. Well, well. Well, we were trying to get the coach Stewart our sideline reporter, but I believe the Well, he's definitely talking. He's, de he's, he's using talking. his hands. He's, and ta he's, he's, he's talking, but we're he, he's, we're not we're not we're not we, we can't hear you, coach. We're not, we're not, <laughs> <laughs> so, Unmute yourself. So Robinson. And two point conversion hit, is good. Two point conversion is good, and that two point conversion made by Leon, by Mr. Thornhill. <laughs> so Leonidas, yeah, I, I didn't want to say that. So for score 44, 22. The Greensville County Eagles. The Greensville County Eagles are up over the Golden Chargers. There's still two minutes forty seven seconds left in the ball game. So guess what? We're gonna take a break, and we'll be back. Big Sports NC. Your new car awaits at Nissan of Roanoke Rapids. Get where you're going with ease and stay connected the whole way. Lease an intelligent 2019 Nissan Altima at only $291 a month with zero down. Nissan of Roanoke Rapids, where we put the customer first. You don't have time to get sick and you don't plan on getting hurt. Despite your best efforts, germs are shared and accidents happen, and usually at the worst possible time. But Halifax Works Healthcare Express is here to help. We're open six days a week, Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Saturday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Let us help you get back in the game, back to your family, and back to life. Feel better faster at Halifax Works Healthcare Express. And we're back to the mat, back to the action right here. 44-22, Eagles up. Onside kick and falls on it. That's Jordan Travis falls on the short kick by the Eagles. When Travis did exactly what he had to do, he knocked the ball down, and jumped on it, and he didn't try to he didn't try to advance the ball or anything. He said, "This is not my job. I'm gonna give it to my team who does this and let them go at it." So, with two minutes forty four seconds left in the action. You know, if you want to start, we can start getting the head, you know, the player, you know, players we've talked about. We've talked about Blue. We've talked about Robinson. We've talked about Ransom Brickle with a touchdown play to Kanye Davis also, too. We talked, we had some had some phenomenal players, and we're going to make sure we give you our play, each one of us give our players of the game as we as we get ready to wrap this thing up soon. So, Brickle back up on the center, wishbone formation. Brickle takes a snap. Hands it off to Jalen Taylor. Jalen Taylor looking for some running room. He's brought down. It's about a five-yard game. Two minutes so. and 30 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Chargers trailing 44-22. Second down. About six to go. I think Coach Stewart still talking to himself over there. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're so as we as we're trying to get him to talk, I'm just waving my hands like I'm in church. Charles in the wishbone. So Brickle up on the center. Brickle hands it hands it off to Jalen Taylor. He's met right there. So a big tackle right there by number forty-seven, Jaquez Connor on the tackle. 
So the clock is running. One minute, 50 seconds left in the ball game. Yeah, I think at this point you just try to get out of here with no injuries. Yeah. Yeah, right there. You see Taylor trots off the field, and Austin checks into the ball game. Austin came into the ball game later and had a quick touchdown run. That's right. So, and like Coach Stewart said, he's your home run hitter. So maybe we see a run by Austin right here. Well, he's going out wide too. No, actually, Austin's in the backfield. You got Kanye Davis, man to man on the outside. Maybe they go back to Davis see if they can get a quick store. Tosses to Austin. Austin looking for some running room. And Austin he's met in the backfield. He's met right there. And that's Peebles in on the top. And we got a flag on the plate. We got a flag on. Let's see what this flag is. Hopefully it's not another unnecessary, unsportsmanlike penalty. So as we see, see what the flag is. I think it's going to be a hold on the Chargers. So just want to thank a couple of our sponsors once again. Littleton Hardware Store, Grandpa's Kitchen, and Littleton Robinson Funeral Home. We got a face mask against the Eagles. It's going to be a 15-yard penalty automatic first down. So right there, there's going to be a first down for the Chargers. That oh, first it's only a five-yard penalty. Evidently, they, that hasn't changed in high school football yet. But just want to... Continue to thank our sponsors, Future Trail Pharmacy in Jackson, Riding the Majette of R&P Enterprise and Rich Square, Bar Miss Barbecue of K and K, Home Health Care of Garrisburg, North Carolina. So Brickle, back up in the center. Brickle looking to pass. Brickle's looking deep for Davis again. Davis has it and in out of his hand. Little, little far right there for him. He laid him a little too much right there. And, and Coach Grady's found some. He's found some with Kanye Davis on the outside right there. He's just speaks. He's a fast guy. He's a fast guy. So that's. Well, so I'm impressed by Brickle's arm too. He, he's got a he's got a pretty good arm. Does he play baseball for you? No, no, he doesn't. He's a bad. He's the star point. He's the point guard for the basketball team. He doesn't play, but he has an arm. Maybe maybe you, maybe you should talk to him. Well, you know, everybody doesn't want to play for me. You know. So, uh, well, have you ever approached him? Maybe, maybe well, you, you know. Well, him. you know, I, you know. I'm like this. Either you want to play, or you don't want to play. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just like this. You know, you know. I'm, I'm, I, I'll recruit, but not, not all the time. But that's another. That's another conversation for another day. You know, as I with an arm like that, though, I would. Yeah, you know, but. If, <laughs> so back to 53, 53.9 seconds left in the ball game. Brooklyn, I'm on the play. On the play. It was like it was confusion right there. 47.6 to go. What? So 40, 47 seconds to go here. 44-22 uh, Eagles over the Chargers. Just the Eagles ball, and that's gonna that's gonna all but wrap this ball game up. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna. A Neil a Neil right here should should be it. Yeah, right now. So we want to get into it. Want to want to ask who who was your player of the game? Well, Coach, it depends if you're asking offenses or defense. Uh, just overall, overall. Who my, would be your my overall player of the game would have to be Kendall Blue. Um, I, I don't know how many uh, how many yards he had or um, touchdowns, but that kid was all over the place. When he touched the ball, he gave you yards. Uh, he he gave you six, seven yards every play. Um, it came up lane a, a few times, uh, but he still kept coming out, kept giving you 100%. Um, so that's my player of the game. So, and if I can, if I can give a player of the game, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Eric Robinson. I believe Eric. I believe Eric Robinson. Eric Robinson was was phenomenal playing at quarterback position. Able able to control his team. Able to control his team in each and every way he can. Able to get some good passes to people, people's as well. And this was basically just a tale of a quarter and a, a quarter, because after it seemed like after the after the after the first quarter, the Green. Greensville County just kind of just kind of took it to him right here. Yeah, because two and a half two and a half quarters, it was a back and forth ball game. Yeah. Um, and and, and to reiterate what you said, uh, Peebles, I mean Robinson, is, is a quarterback and he's like a he's like a shortstop. You know, they they're they're field generals. You know, they control they control the clock, they control the field, they control what goes on, and he done a heck of a job tonight. Yes, he did. And as this clock winds down, the final score will be the Greensville County 44, and the Wilton Chargers will be have 22, and the Greensville County will go to 0 and 1 on the season, 1 and 0 on the season, as the Wilton Chargers go to 0 and 1 on their season. Another another great another great Friday night of football, Aaron. Yes, sir. Another great. And, and the 0-1 Chargers 
How about another uh, round of applause? We'll play the one and one Run Rapids Yellow Jackets next Friday night at home in their home opener. Um, so we'll see if, if any of this will go into next week or, or if they'll fall a little short and um, see what see what happens next week. And 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 I believe Coach Grady Coach Grady Wills has seen some things, positive things he could take. And soon he saw he saw some flashes with Austin and Davis as well. But we got to show up the turnovers, got to show up the penalties, and like I said, key things moving into next week. But just want to thank want to thank all the sponsors. Want to thank everybody. Want to thank everybody that tuned in to BigSportsNC.com to check out the high school football game of the week. Want to thank all our sponsors. Robert, Ronald Rabbit's Collision Center holding temporaries, Triple A Storage Sheds, B&J Cash and Carry, Littleton Hardware Store, Grandpa's Kitchen, Robinson Funeral Home, Q Trail Pharmacy, Rodney Majette of RP Enterprises, Miss Barbara Key of KK Home Healthcare. Also, too, want to thank the Center of Energy Education, Nissan of Ronald Rabbit's White Motors. GW Hux Company, Lynch's Office Supply, Givens Insurance, and all cannot forget about the Copy Center of Ronald Rappers. And there you have it, folks. The end. The, and also, too, can't forget about Randy Rand and the people of Rand Sports screen, screen, screen Printing. Rand Sports Graphic and Screen Printing. Can't forget about my man, Randy Rand, who supports Big Sports and the Four Downs with Coach D Show. And there, and there you have it. The end the score 44 to 22. The Greensville County Eagles win over the Weldon Chargers. So we'll be back next Friday in Weldon as the Ronald Rapids Yellow Jackets travel over the county road to face the Weldon Chargers. And want to want to thank Coach Andre Stewart. We also we also want to th thank Eric Stewart. I also want to thank Aaron Strickland, and it's me, Coach D, I want, and I want to thank myself, and can never forget about my man, Ryan Burnett, in, in the background. And exactly produced by Mr. J. Bell. Mr. Mr. He said Mr. Handsome, but I'm saying Mr. J. Bell. That's why he's behind the scenes. Exactly. He can be handsome behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you have it, folks. That's a ball game. 44-22, Greensville County win. We'll see you next Friday at Weldon. And that's been BigSportsNC.com.